I try, I try to see if it worked, people. I try to see if it worked first. Now wait for an invite. I'm waiting for an invite. I'm waiting for an invite. Let me see if the invite worked first. Yeah, may I wait for an invite? Yeah. When's my invite work? May I wait for now we forget I invite. <clears throat> okay, let me see if it works. Okay, let me see if it works. Works then. We cut her off and then we start. Now we have to say she has to invite. Why not working? Oh, oh it works. Okay. okay. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, 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 All right. I text you when I'm ready. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. How do I do this? All right. I, I, I cut it off. Okay, good. Well, go on, people, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on there? Well, go on. Well, go on. I don't know me I'll show you some packing books later on. And thanks to other guys, them who actually people. So I um I have a new competition that's going on. I have a new competition. There's a new competition that's going on. Um, so you will get a chance to win something. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the competition. Um, what are in the competition? Okay. All right, it works. So me tell you, me text you, I'm ready. Then, okay. So. Here's the competition. Thanks to everybody that, are, that purchased Nigel's song. I am still waiting for more people to purchase the song. That the song, we want to keep the song in the loop. We want to keep it in the loop. So I need more people to purchase the song on, on the internet. A lot of you guys did not, a lot of you guys did not purchase the song. I don't know why. But I was expecting to get a more full force of a lot of you guys on Instagram and Facebook to purchase the song. I need more people to purchase the song. So I'm, I'm going to ask you guys if you guys can. I'm live on IG. I'm going to ask you guys if you guys can, can make some more purchase. So there's going to be a lot of giveaway, right? So I'm going to tell you what the giveaway are. What are some of the stuff that, that, that I'm going to give away? Okay, give me a minute. Um, let me just put in this. Um, okay. So, I want to see how much more people is going to purchase the song today. So, um, you will get a chance to win. Um, I purchased it just to support. Thank you very much for that. Thank you so much. Um, no, you guys is going to get a chance to win an iPhone, iPhone 12. You will get to win an iPhone 12. Hello? Yeah. Is the stock che cheaper than siding? No, siding is cheaper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. If it cost if it cost thirteen, well normally you try normally you try time and half of that. Right. Right. You chuck so the material is what? How much you say the material is? 
14, and you charge them 30, 30 much? That's cheap. That's cheap, bro. That's, that's cheap. And either they go and do it or they don't do it. That's all. All you do, take off the, the $800 and charge and tell them to pay your cash. That's the only deal they can get. Yeah. Man, man, I told you before, man, stop wasting time with us, people. Either they, either they want to spend the money. Oh. Man, stop wasting time with them, people. I don't care. I could have, I could, I could have, mother, I could have Jesus. The price is the price. Take it or leave it. I would have probably dollar, probably like 35. Yeah, that's a that's a good price. Well, you know me, I do. Let me call Raphael and ask Raphael. Let me call Raphael. Let me call Raphael and ask Raphael. I'll call it. All right, yeah. Call Raphael. Okay, people. In the meantime, okay, back to the conversation. We can. So, as I was saying to you guys now before, where, where was I now? So, I we'll be giving away. We're gonna be giving away. A iPhone 12 over five hundred dollars in cash and also we are giving away digital top up real top up and data plan so if you need data plan you have to win to get data plan and get the hundred US right we'll be giving away hundred US a iPhone 12 and all this is given away okay so in order for you to win, to get some digital credit, the competition will end um, November 15. So the competition starts today. So if you want to enter into the competition, all you have to do, you can go and look for the song, You and I. The name of the song is You and I, or you can WhatsApp me. There's my number at the bottom of the page. And I will send you the song. And you have to send in your best promotion video you have to send in your best video you singing the song and 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 anybody sing the song good they will get a chance to win digital credit or a hundred dollars or an iphone 12. the competition start today so anybody in anywhere you are in the caribbean if you want to win digital top up you want to win an iphone 12 yes if you win the iphone 12 no matter when i carry and they, the phone will come to you even if they are children, that guy and I doesn't make a difference. You get an iPhone 12 and you get a 100 US, right? Either or either. Either 100 US or the iPhone 12 or you get some digital tap up. But you have to send in a video, right? Of you singing the song and you have to be singing the song the right way. So if you think that you have what it takes to do so and you want to win a data plan, either you win a 30 days plan or a 7 days plan or a 15 day plan, are you going to win a 100 US, which is almost 14,000 dollars Are you going to win an iPhone 12? The competition, there's my number at the bottom of the page. WhatsApp me. If you want your son or your daughter to do it, whichever way it is, then go right ahead and so forth and send me the, the video. And we will post the video. And guess what happened? The one who get the most vote and sing it the best will have a chance to win. Okay? So if you want the song, WhatsApp me. 973-342-2487 for the song. Anyway, we are going, people. Um, so before we go in, uh, before we talk about the the scamming pastor, the one who did. So Jack, you are Jack, you are now back in the news again. Jack, you are get another eighty-three days in jail. So Jack, you is gonna be in jail for another three months or whatever it is, eighty-three days or whatever that is, in jail. That's how Jack, you that's how Jack, you is gonna stay in jail, right? You see, our life is so funny. We don't wish nothing for nobody, you know, but you know, Jack here have been doing this thing over, 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 going back and forth. Remember when they threatened the youth? I remember when they with the girl and so forth. I remember how Jack here always like, well, I'd say, so 
untouchable. You see what happened now in left Jamaica with the same arrogant way. Um, right? We didn't see him arrogant way and go to Netherlands and him end up behind bars for his illiterate ways. Being illiterate and remember we said before, Jackie needs some farmer, he needs some farmer valuation. He needs some farmer valuation. And he never take it serious and see it and now he find himself in another country in a jail. But Jackie is custom to jail, because I'm always in a jail. So maybe maybe like jail because I don't understand how you going to jail and knife to stab up somebody or whatever it is. I don't get that. But that or that. No, what is I go on now? No, people. We get some message this evening. We don't got one sitting on Facebook. We never go entertain it. One sitting on Facebook. You have a sitting on Facebook. Let me tell you something. Some of them be glad that you're in stop around. Them be glad to change them. Let me tell you something. You know what I notice? People in Jamaica, let me tell you something. A lot of them want us to come up on Facebook and come on a carry on and I go back and forth and all them and live the lavish lifestyle and disarray. The other day I went in the US, I give out $300. Let me explain it and tell them. Because maybe they were sending money to them in the Caribbean. And you feel like when the US was giving out $300 extra and in the unemployment, a lot of them was getting the 300 US and coming up on Facebook and act like say, Things are going for them and them are the hottest and them are the big food and live the lavish lifestyle. And now them cut off the $300. A lot of them gone right back down to screw with them now and the $300 forget. So unfortunately, now some of them have to go find a 95 job and work because they're not changing the have again. And it's only what these people alone in America and different pan three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. You be tell me say you decide say you want to live on Facebook for three hundred dollars. What can three hundred dollars do for you now in America? Maybe three, not even a Jamaica three hundred dollars cannot do something for somebody in a Jamaica. You understand? Can you have a pinch it? You live in America and come up on Facebook every day and say, yeah, I'm lapsed and I'm shrimp and this and all of that and rate it, 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 all of that. And then you now, act like they have some, like say things are going for them. $300? $300, they have to find a 95 job. And even though they find a 95 job, the $300, what they, what they made I get, will run up on them. Them have so much ketchup for do that, guess what happened? It still can balance out them bills. I'm going to tell you something. You see, when I live, you see, when I live in America as a female, and no man no want in America, it bad. When you live in America, and no man in America don't want you, it is very bad. When you look a certain way in America, when time you look like a cow in America, and man always want to get green card, and no man don't find your attention, find you to be any farmer interested for my to get a green card, you know say bad for in America, it's time to pack up and leave. Because in America, Man, I was a child for look at took off a married if he can fix up himself. And when you see man who not even in a good position, no look pan some of them, you know say man done pan them. You know say man done pan them. Because let me tell you something. You see in America, you have certain kind of big woman in America. No disrespect to the big woman that we are watching, but you have certain kind of big woman in America. Big. Humongous woman in America. You have the humongous one them. You have the one there with the tree belly. I have the one with the four belly. You have the one with the belly in the forehead, belly in the chest, belly in the belly down in the two belly, two belly upon one part. And then you have belly in the back again and so forth. Now them one then you call them the, the green card machine when time nobody knows them. And when time you find yourself so you have two belly and walk around with two belly. Right? Because let me tell you something, I don't care what nobody say. I think it looks very insipid and very disgusting for a woman to walk around with two belly. If you're big, stay big. But when you're big and you walk around with a belly down your so, like your so, when you, when you have a belly down your so, and you have a belly your so, and you have a belly your so, and a belly run your so, you know, look good. No man, no man, I don't get drink yet. It, it, is, it is not a good sight. No, no man don't even want to be seen with you. Not even at that, not even at night time. When time man left dance, man never want to be seen with you because me will never cop sit like them there. And yes, what happened? If you are a woman, if let me tell you, you see, in America, if you have if you have two belly in your front, you must have money and you must have good credit or something I go on for you. Because first of all, me can't feed you. I cannot feed you. If you're big, if you are big and look a certain way with three belly, you must have money and you must have credit. You must not catch a people place. Because me picking you up, that is low in my standard. And if me never have no papers and me, the one that green card, 
And me have to pick you up to get a green card that is low in my standard to the lowest level. So guess what happened? It going to take a lot for me to even go down that road. So you have one sitting on Facebook where man don't want. Nobody don't want him. Nobody don't want him. Nobody. Nobody at all. Because if you call a man at Jamaica, if me call a, a friend at Jamaica right now, I have a friend at Jamaica, I hope a friend. I know how to call you. I start working. And say, uh, and send my picture, I sit and say one. Well, I say, oh no, dog, yes, yes, dog, yes, no man, mm -mm. You, you don't respect me. So guess what happened? Some of them are going to stand in America, and eventually when God ready for them, dead without a man. Dead without a man. No man don't want to be seen with them, okay? How would you say, hi baby? How would you say, hi baby? How would this? Hi love. Oh no, hi love, sorry. Hi love, how would that? Hi, hi back. We don't know that. Anyway, back to the conversation now. No. No, this is this now. Come on for that now. Lady and big up yourself, lady. No. Let's talk about the past. Well, I don't know why we keep saying past. Let's talk about the other man. The fake other man, the scammer man, the one we're dead. Let's talk about the fake scammer man we're dead. No, I hear a lot of people saying a lot of things that, oh, Dr. Love, oh, the, the man not dead. I lied to my tell us, stay gen, stay. Mr. Thomas' daughter. Okay, okay, all right. Big up yourself. Yeah, man, my sister. It's not Mr. Thomas' daughter. You ever call my brother and me call your sister? Yeah. So, um, everybody has said, boy, that club a, a, a wickedness. Nothing happened to the, nothing happened to the man in the dead. A liar to them want to get him out of the country. Some of you people sound so dumb and stupid. When you sound so dumb and illiterate and stupid. When you come and I say, boy, him not dead, I lie, them a lie and all that. Let me tell you something. When you work for CID in a Jamaica, let me try to educate on the people how it works in Jamaica. When you work for CID in Jamaica, when you are a private, private detective, unmarked detective, you get to drive an unmarked car. Let me rephrase it again. When you are a special detective in Jamaica, you do not drive a police car. You do not drive a police van. You drive a private car. Private car means that an unmarked car. You can't mark it. So it looks like a regular taxi, a regular car. That is what works in Jamaica. So the little scammer man did in the car. It was a, a CID. It was a, it was, they were a private detective, right? That's their job. They do not drive regular car, right? And they would not put him inside of a police car. They put him in an unmarked car. Therefore, that if there was any form of ambush was going to go on, nobody can pay the road and say, well, he might come in a, this police car and it had this number and so forth. He was in an unmarked car. And because maybe the reason why he was not handcuffed, why he was in the car, because he was in an unmarked car and they probably do not think that something was going to happen so they did not handcuff him and he's not the first man that go inside of a car in jamaica and and there's no handcuff on him you know what i'm saying no let me make it very clear for the people so therefore i can be driving how should i say it now how should i say it okay the other day i was in jamaica i was in jamaica the other day and i was traveling in an unmarked car I was in Jamaica and I was traveling in an unmarked car. The car was unmarked. It was a Benz and you will never know that the person in the car is a detective that they wrote for CIB. Right? It's an unmarked car. There's no siren on it. There's no in front of the show so there's a police car. It's an unmarked car. So you see the car, it looked like a regular car, but it was not a regular car. It is an unmarked private car. But the person who drives in the car is actually a detective. Do you understand the difference of it? Why the man was in the car? He could not be in a police car with siren, a flash, and whatever it is. I understand that the transport terminal in police car. But in certain situations, and a high profile person like that, it's best to transport him in an unmarked car. That is the reason why the car was also, there was another car that was following, right? Do you understand now? Do you guys understand how Jamaica system works? Just like in America, when you have prosecutor and things like that, you do not know what kind of vehicle it is. Right? So that right? So that's what happened. 
And let's re let's re let's go to the conversation. I'm gonna explain to no plain and straight. The man is dead. The man, the scammer man, dead. Him dead, dead means that in dead. Means that in a comeback, in dead. Means that that the spirit there gone in somebody else, gone roam the place again. The man dead. The man never go to the dead house and stay in the dead house and then them take him from the dead house and then put him on a plane and send him to another place. The man is dead. I am telling you that he dead because I know somebody who actually was one of the person who pronounced him dead. So that means uh, him dead, him gone, him not come back dead. You understand now? So all that little story on our service, the boy not good. Me know it not look good. I know it don't look good. I know it look a little bit suspicious. But listen what happened. The man dead. The other man dead. Whatever one name, Kevin, whatever name Smith, in dead, in gone. And he's actually in the funeral home. We don't want to know which funeral home he's in. He's also in the funeral home in a all right. Okay. He's laying in the final home. He's currently right now in Punished Town. In the funeral home in their Punished Town in dead. Okay. So, all this conversation, and then let me rephrase one thing, although I don't like it. When I say Andrew Wallace, this and that. Andrew Wallace went to St. Mary to a different church. It was not to Fahim Church. Okay. So listen, it looked too you know, like it's a setup, but it's no setup. They never tamper with no car. Yes, me hundred percent sure and dead, my friend. Me sure, me sure, sure, sure in dead. Me I tell you that the man is dead. The man dead and laid on in the funeral home. In dead. And guess what happened? Them say don't wish nothing bad for nobody. But guess what happened? In dead and in get when they get. And the same supposed to be dead. Because in kill a whole of people. And not only that too, he walk around and he feel up people boy pitney, and he walk around and sex off people boy pitney, and he walk around and sex off people girl pitney. He is a pedophile. Means that he walk around and he do things he should not be doing and call himself a man of God. In dead, in gone. Now come back. Now come back. All those little boys that he feel up and do all kind of things to them, I feel sorry for them because now they have to live with that demon. And all those little girls, I feel sorry for them because they have to live with that demon. Right? The man is a sex offender. So we all can say, thank God. The demon that, you see what happened? The demon then went tapping to because he thinks he was powerful. They come and take him and kill him. And it's just very sad that the police them that was in the car and the, the young man that died, he sacrificed. You understand? And sorry that he died. And condolence to his family. You know, said man have died that have nothing to do with them farmer sitting there. You understand? So all this story that's on the internet, get rid of it. It no exists. Right? Um, you, you feel you really... I'm never going to answer this conversation because my friend, that no sense. The man dead. Okay. And guess what happened? The man was living in Canada. I'm going to bring on one young lady who know the man personally and was going to the church with the man personally and can tell you Right? Can tell you everything about the man. Okay? The man was in Jamaica and he was down there sexing out people, boy, pick me, and doing all kind of witchcraft and down there scamming people money and doing all kind of things. That's what he was doing down in Jamaica, down there. Like there was a pastor, them who are walk and feel people, girl, pick me. So I'm going to bring on somebody who know the man, well, who know the man and can tell you about the man. And let me tell you. No, man, no, I'm something, no, I threw me busy, I, I, I promote and things like that. Yeah, man, it was wonderful, man, wonderful, brother, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the response have been good. I get a lot of response and a lot of doors open. Yeah, man, one like me, I don't know, I get to have me link you. Okay. Me, yeah, you can send me the invite when you're ready, okay? The man was living in Canada. Remember me, the baptized four times, you know? four times he baptized. And the last person, but, oh, long she know about what was. Okay. When the person come on, Reen, stop stressing me out now. A four time I baptize him. 
Let me tell you something. You know, said church is one of the wickedest places that on this earth right now. Church, right? No, anybody come on from my page. Anybody I bring on my page, I want to come from my page. I want to come in from a disrespectful. I want black on today. Today, I want to get in blackings, okay? So, I want to need to clean out in the years while I sit down and listen and say, if you can listen to what I go on and understand. That man was no sin. That man was a wicked. And that didn't get exactly what he's supposed to get. And there's a lot more to follow him, okay? No, the man was living in Canada. Never bring on somebody on the phone, on the, the live, who know the man and can tell about the man, the real story about that demon. Right? So never bring on somebody on here so we can tell about the man, okay? Never... Hi, Dr. Love. How are you doing? What's going on? Oh, not too bad. Yes. How's everything going? Everything is good over here. How is everything on your side? It's shocking you know it's shocking to it's it's very shocking right to know that somebody who you personally personally know right did all of this and right. it's so big all over the media it's right. crazy and mm -hmm. let, me say, let me say something to you before you go okay sometimes when i bring on people on the live you have to don't pay attention to the comment them whatever they're saying Focus on me, right? Because some of these people, yeah, it's all them, good. them they're really right up here, so. And some of them yeah. have two mental problems. And some of them have uncle and brother and daddy walk around and feel people get fit and people boy fit. And so you have to see with them. For, sh for sure. Right. It's been, it's been a norm in the culture of Jamaica right. for, for these things to happen and people just accept it. Right. And let yeah. me, let's clarify one thing because I'm trying to explain to them that the man dead, and them that understand that the man dead, they are saying that in Ghana, one different country and all kind of something. So, me actually have experience that in dead, in Ghana, dead. In spirit, he God. said, Right. He was actually telling them in the police station that he was going to die, but they right. didn't understand what he was saying. In his language. That's exactly what he was in saying. In his terms of prophecy. Right. He did, they didn't understand what he was saying. Right. But they were just laughing and joking. I know Kevin since he was 14 years old. Right. I went to church with him. Wow. So that man never worked a day in his life. Right. He, he was preaching for all of his life. Right. And once he became over 18, he got married. He had a wife. Mm -hmm. And he was actually caught here in Canada with multiple different men, but he found a scheme in Jamaica where he could manipulate and trick the system and trick the people. Right. So, 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 so the church, so you and him was going to the same church? We were going to the same church since we were kids. Well, and what was his life in Canada? What was, what was his life like in Canada? People liking him or or the relationship wise before he got married? Well, people loved him because guess what? He was young and he proclaimed himself to be a prophet. Right. And he was always, he was always hearing from God. For some reason, he said he was always hearing from God, but everything that God told him was to kill people. Or this stuff is going to happen to you. Right. Everything was like doom and gloom for him. Right. It wasn't anything necessary good. Right. Everything was just, you know, and him um, collecting, offering late fees when you get to church. That's typically what he learned in Toronto. He oh. learned it from all the bishops. So all the bishops here loved him because he was 14, 15, 17, and they groomed him. Oh. And once he tried to sleep with my friend, mm -hmm. who is a male, who is a boy, right. and we went to pastor with it. Pastor denied it. Then we went to the overseer. Overseer denies it. Right. And they still had Kevin traveling all over preaching and ministering to people until his wife actually caught him with a man multiple times. Then he migrated to Jamaica. Wait, wait, wait. They, 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 they said that he was arrested in Canada. 
He, he, was, he, was, he was, not to my knowledge, he was never arrested in Canada. Kevin was always preaching. He traveled to Africa. Mm -hmm. Even years before, Kevin was always in England. Mm -hmm. You can even look it up on YouTube. He's been in England. Right, because they, like they said that he was in jail for, for six months before he was deported back to Jamaica. That's the news I saw that they said the police said, because the liar was confirming that I guess she must have spoke to the police in Canada and they said he was arrested for, he was in jail for six months for, for having sexual assault with a 21 year old. Um, he's been with multiple men. Right. Men. Does he have any kids? He has one child. Oh, you have one that, child? Yeah, that is unknown. So church is a thing where they hide and cover things mm -hmm. because no one would ever come out and say, I know Kevin personally. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been Kevin's best friend. Everybody right now, they're, they're in a disarray. They're, mm -hmm. they're surprised and, and they're hiding. Right. They're hiding. And in order for Kevin to be a bishop, mm -hmm. there's other churches out there under him. Hmm. That's one thing you need to know. Right. So if he's Bishop um, Kevin Smith, that yes. means there's other churches. And there's other churches doing the same thing that Kevin has done. Right. Um, so, so, so do you know if the child living in Canada, where the child is living, if it's a girl or it's a boy? It's a daughter, it's to a my knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so he does have one kid, and, uh, and then he's, he was married in Canada, right? Right. So was his wife, mm -hmm. his wife was going to the same church? They were, uh, they were going to my sister church. Like, oh. they say sister church. Like, right now, I don't go to church. I don't have nothing to do with church. Right. There's so many stuff that's happened in church that I don't want to be a part of that garbage. Right. And, yeah. Okay. Once Kevin was caught with, with, with one of my friends who made a complaint to the pastor mm -hmm. and they covered it and they actually disgrace you and say, you know, this is a spiritual man. He would never do anything like this. And, mm -hmm. you know, do you know who you're talking about and all this stuff? Then, you know, it's just time for you to grow, go. Right. Yeah. Do you think that... Um when he was in Jamaica and so forth, running the church, do you think that he was still down there having sexual relationship with boys and, and all of that? Of course. He was doing that the whole time. You know, it would only take a fool to know that he was not having relations with men and uh, little young boys. Right. Because his main focus was on men. He always disgraced women. He had no love for women. He's always had no love for women and no respect for as, women. As you said that, I was watching a video with him. And he was, he, when the lady gave him the $200, he said to the lady, say, say $200, when he said $200 can't feed you your chink family. Ching bang pickings. Yeah, and then yeah. the guys then give him the money. His, 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 his body language towards the guys that was, was always a present way because they said that a present, he has yeah. three, three, they said they have three little boys that living in, in, the, in the house with him. That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is and so forth. And, but where do you mm -hmm. think he get this money to build this house? Was he, but wait a minute, wait a minute. They said that he was also a dealer in Canada too. That's what they said. No, that Dr. Love, what I know, Okay, when you're a preacher, when you're a minister, remember, Kevin is a master manipulator, right? right? He went to um, Bible college. Mm -hmm. So he studied psychology. Right. Like, he's a master manipulator. Right. So he went, he went to school. When you are a preacher, you get paid to be a preacher. Once you go to any church to preach... Mm -hmm. That's that's your that's your money. Right. And people are collecting offering for you two or three times right. more. And plus you get like a, a, a big check cut to you. So that's enough for, for him to live off. Since he was 14, he's never lived a straw in his life. He's never worked like, you know, honest bread. 
it's just all church money. So is do you know if his wife is still alive? Obviously, she's still alive. But if they're church people, they're not going to come out. I would love for her to say her piece right. on the man she really knew. Or who knows if she's going to come out. You right. get it? But Kevin is a person that does not respect women. Right. He's always humiliate women. Right. Always. And for all these women to be talking about him like he's some god, he is not. What they what they use on you is it's called conversational hypnosis. Right. So there are certain words that they say and they hypnotize you and they put you under spell. And that's how these preachers can get you to do certain things without right. you knowing. And that's how he could get these police officers to be shooting after other police officers because they're hypnotized and they're under a spell. So, so let me ask you a question. What do you think, what do you think happened in that car? Yes, I mean, wait, wait, before I go there. What I noticed is that when he was in the police station, there was something funny about his whole conversation and his, his chanting, he was, he was chanting and so forth, right? Right, right. What do you really think have happened? Because you know him. You, you know him very well. We don't want right. to see him and so forth. You grew up with him. You, you, you was in the same environment with him and so forth. What do you For think sure. happened to him in that car yesterday? I think when he was in... This is spiritually deep. I think when he was in the police station, he was telling him their destiny. Mm -hmm. Because I think for him to have this plan that he's going to mm -hmm. slaughter 144 people, I think what he was doing, the, the devil requires more blood. Whoever is in those kind of rituals. Mm -hmm. they, they always want more blood right. so I think that was to, to, to buy him more time right whatever right. deal he makes if you notice he right. operates like the African church right? and some of the stuff that he's learned he's learned it in Toronto you know under certain bishops so the power that he's operating under mm -hmm. did not buy him whatever happened at the church it didn't buy him enough time because he didn't get to slaughter all the the people that he wanted to mm -hmm. so he knew that it was gonna be the end for him right okay and i think mm -hmm. kevin knew it was time to go and he was never gonna tell on anybody who was involved he would have never if you know kevin if you look at his interview, he was just smiling and, and he was telling them rapture, rapture means, means rape. And he was talking like effeminine, like almost like he's a, a lady. Right. And then he started to prophesy that God called him since he was nine years old mm. and all of this and all of that. So I think Kevin, whatever demon that was working with him, I think, it worked and, and um, caused an accident. And then he's under, yeah, and then he's he, under some. Right. I mean, Go ahead. And then the, the young man, which is the policeman that died in the car accident, because I was talking to a spiritual leader yesterday and I said that that young man in the car, that is also a, a part of sacrifice. Cause whatever happened in the car, right. yesterday, it did have to happen. Yeah. And, I get to understand that they had a police officer that based on what have happened and the way Kevin was, they probably don't even make it, right? And uh, yeah. and what they were saying that, what, what, what Ben C was saying is that when he left the police station, the, 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 the higher spirit that he was working with, right, that he tapped into, was just oh, waiting for the perfect yeah. time to make yes. whatever happened and so forth. And when you look at him when he with the whole accident and the way he died and so forth, you could see that something terribly went wrong and those police officers see something in the car, whatever it is, they know what yeah. it is and they probably never live to tell the story, which one died and so forth. And um yeah. with 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 so 
with that and so forth, one thing, I said this before of what my spiritual ways tell me that. I do believe that there's body at that church and there's body at his home buried. Do you, you know him? Um, I think Kevin was always doing this. Mm -hmm. He just got busted. He was always doing this. Look at those people who he rented um, the place to. He chained them in the house. I think he was always getting foreigners from abroad and slaughtering them. And because Jamaica is so slack, mm -hmm. they, they haven't figured it out that this man has been murdering people for years. And I think the church is buried on a lot of, um, a lot of dead people. And they need to do forensic uh, scene. They need to mow that uh, shit down and just, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And the, and the home, I do believe that I was, this may sound crazy, but I was looking at the home. And I was looking at a particular way in the home. And I'm saying, looking at it, and I say, you know that people is buried there. You know, he's right. been doing it for years and burying people. It, this man was like a serial killer that had been doing it and tapping into spirit. And also the females then, the females then that was glorifying him in the church, I was saying that I don't think that those females should get involved with any farmer guys. And I think that family member who have family that was going to that church, they need to look deeper within to them because I don't know Kevin, you know Kevin, and the right. system that, that he have done over the years. And then what, but what do you think about the... I mean, without the call and name, but what do you think about the, the church in Canada, the pastor them over there, that where he was going and so forth? I know there's a lot of things you can't talk about. I understand, but I know you. There, there, no, but there, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's happening in church because multiple times mm -hmm. when things happen in church, they just bury it. Right. Bury it. Okay. For instance, it so happened that. One of my good friends mm -hmm. is a minister. Right. And I went to him. This is something that somebody came and confessed to me. Right. Like, say, for instance, we'll use the name Cheryl. I'm, right. We'll use the name Cheryl for, oh, I'm sleeping with Sister Cheryl. Mm -hmm. And Sister Cheryl's husband is my friend and mm -hmm. who is a minister. And I went, this is a true story, you know, but we're just using this right. name for example. Right. And I went to him, I went to my friend and I said, you know, so-and-so said that they're sleeping with your wife. You know what the guy said to me? Mm -hmm. He said, that's a lie. And he, he is spiritual enough to see and, and, and how God um, gave him this wife and all of this stuff. And it turns out that two of the child, mm -hmm. the woman had three kids. It turns out that two of the child is not for him. Mm -hmm. out of all three children and this is church oh. and it ended up that the same woman even boss fight in church physically mm -hmm. over this man mm -hmm. right so there's some nastiness it turns out that there's another minister who i'm working with at my workplace who's sexing off all the young girls and when i went to pastor wife who is supposed to be like my mother Mm -hmm. And I and I went and I said, you know, uh, you know, brother so and so, who is actually a preacher to ministering, praying on people, mm -hmm. crying tears, and speaking in X amount of tongues. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, he, you know, a bunch of girls came to me and they said they're sleeping with them. The woman actually started to hate me, mm. hate me. So I became like the enemy in church now. I caused too much trouble because this is not right. If these people say that they're serving God, mm -hmm. then why you as a minister, you're a playboy at work and you're calling your wife your sister. You mm. get it? Right. So this minister was sleeping with a whole bunch of girls. Mm -hmm. He has his wife and his daughter mm -hmm. and he told people that he only has one daughter. He's not married. Hmm. And even have women at work fighting over him. And I went to the higher people who's in charge. Mm -hmm. And they say, no, 
None of that is going on. And these are people who is preying on you. So they're transferring spirits onto you. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And there's a, there's a lot of molestation that goes on in church. Yes, there's a, there's a lot. Uh, there, there is yeah. a lot. What we, we're, I'm not saying that God is bad. It's the people. Correct. It is the people. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't know God for yourself, and if mm -hmm. you don't stand up for yourself mm -hmm. and know the word of God for yourself, you will become one of these individuals also. Because so many people are wondering, how can Kevin get so much people to do all of these things? Right. It's called conversational hypnosis. Right. He hypnotizes you while he's having a conversation with you, and you don't know it. He look, he look like he does look like he does stuff like that. He does look like yeah. he, he's very good at his mouth, how he talks, and he's very good at putting food on the table to get you comfortable. Right, right. And I, and I do, so, go ahead. I, I think poverty had a lot to do with, with stuff because um, he was, he was taking uh, young boys from their moms mm -hmm. and he was, he was having intercourse with them and he was using them. And he was, he was playing in front of the, the parents' eyes with that. So a lot of it, it, it's called poor is a crime. Yes. You know, because in our culture, in our culture, because a person can do something for you, you overlook the things that they're doing, even if you're being abused. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. Look at that picture with him in the water and there's a young man holding an umbrella over his yes, head. That's, that's what a, kind of nonsense is that? That, that, was, huh? that was crazy. <laughs> I have a young man holding the umbrella and he's in the water. I'm like, um, something not right about this. It's, it's just not it's, it's, right. Yeah, it's, it's nonsense. You know, like he was using these people as personal slaves. Right. Somebody, you know? said, somebody asked us a, a weird question. They said, I'm only going to read this one comment. They said, how did okay. he hypnotize you? How he didn't hypnotize me? Yeah, that's what somebody says. Because I have a spirit and I can see through falseness. And Kevin was a false prophet from day one. Right. Anybody who, who knows him, he was a false prophet from day one. He only hypnotized Jamaicans because Jamaicans love foreigners. Right. And Kevin is from foreign and he's been all over the world. Yeah. He's even been to the Philippines. And Jamaicans love people who take planes. Yeah. And remember, Kevin was not my bishop. I know Kevin when we were kids. Right. And we went to the same church mm -hmm. and he hung out with pastors that were grooming him to become the monster that he became. And as you can see, mm -hmm. as he became that monster, he, he physically changed his appearance, physically changed his face change. If you look at the pictures of Kevin back then, it's right. not Kevin now because God loves children. And once you start hurting children, you turn into a monster physically. And that's what he became. He so became said, a monster. You said, he was, you said that Kevin, he was very skinny? He was very skinny. Wow. He's very skinny and I he's tall. He was, I thought he was always fat. No. Kevin, no, Dr. Love. Over the past two years, Kevin has gained that weight. Kevin was always skinny. Whoa. So where did yeah. he get the weight from? I think he got the weight from the human sacrifice, hurting children the drinking of blood and all of that yeah oh because he, he looked like somebody that drink blood yeah he from the sacrificing he doubled in a in a bit of everything mm -hmm. he 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 had intercourse with women he he was into animals and he was into men he and was, you can see that on his face he was like you mean he was messing with animals too well, they had cows there at the church, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. 
I think I, he looked like a vampire to me. He he does look, he does look crazy. Do do you think? Yeah. Do you think it? Do you think it stopped there? Um. What do you expound on that? All right. Like, okay. Now he's dead, and we understand that he have tapped into something that he should have never tapped into in the first place. So no right. tapped into that, and they have taken him out. People know. Here's the thing that I don't like about people. People are so stupid with not knowing the knowledge and take everything for a joke, right? No, you and me, no one others know that this is right and this is right. Reality. This is reality, right? So people think that okay, a person that tap into spirit, right? Go deep into spirit, they just die and that's it, right? So what I'm saying is that no, he's dead, he's dead, but his spirit. And whatever he tapped in to know, what you think is going on are, which way to say, his spirit will be also becomes just like the police station, for example. I... Right? He was at the police station. And I do believe that the police, that police station is under like a problem. The fact that he was there. Right? And um, I do believe that his spirit went into something else. Because when you tapped into mm -hmm. those things, it doesn't stop there. That is my concern. So what do you think? That that going to happen now? You think the journey Is it is it me who's cracking up or are you? No, I think it's the internet. Sometimes it goes in and out. Is is the internet. Maybe we should restart. Let's restart. So do I think that Kevin, I think that so. Huh? Okay. All right, restart it. Okay. I see. think that somebody will try to use his spirit. Right. And don't you think that, don't you think that the government, they should bulldoze down the church and bulldoze down the house? Don't you think they should demolish I, those properties? Of course. Of course. I think it should be taken apart because there's a lot of people who have lost family members through that. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if, if I have proof, I know this is somebody who I know personally, right? This is somebody who say they prophesy to me. This is somebody who I sit down and eat with. I know him personally. Right. I'm not just, making up stories i know him right. personally you know right. because when these people when they came out because when they came out with kevin i said it's just normal kevin to me you know and people right. are saying where did, where this guy came from and i keep saying he's from canada he's from canada you know but everybody's like where this guy came from he's from canada he was raised in canada most of his life and he right. found a way to make money in, in Jamaica. And that's what he did. Do you know how did he get to Canada in the first place? Oh, Kevin, honestly, I think he was adopted. I'm not too sure on that, but he always spoke about his mom. His mom is not in Canada. He always spoke about his mom, how abusive she was to him. Mm -hmm. And that his mom said she should have bought him. Right. And that his, his mom said that, like, on the day when she was giving birth, she should have shut up her leg and, and kill him. So he often spoke about that and preach about it. Hmm. So he did not come from, like, say, a good home. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. And then, so when, so when he, when he went back to Jamaica, have you spoken to him since, since he left Canada? Well, he's the one that got in touch with us and let us know that he was being called Excellency in Jamaica. Oh, so when he left Jamaica, yeah. when, he, when he went back to Jamaica, he called you guys and tell you that he had been called Excellent in Jamaica. Excellency. Was he looking, in, for, in, was he looking for support? Well, we, he, he was already barnished from the church here because of the 
multiple sleeping with men and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So when you, so yeah. When, so whatever happened to that to that young man that he was sleeping with? Have you ever seen that young man? Um, he's actually one of my best friends. It's actually sad. It's actually sad mm -hmm. when those things happen to people and they turn and then they start cursing God because of things. But he's here in the city. Have you seen? You know, it, have you seen him since lately? I haven't seen him since lately, but I can. Um, I could probably try to reach out to him. Yeah. If, yeah. if you could try and reach out to him, if it is, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Um, Sometimes things happen and they don't want to talk, but try to reach out to him and see if he, if he want to hold a conversation because he could shine more lights. You know, yeah. I'm pretty sure that he's, I'm pretty sure he's probably, he's probably happy now that he's dead. But the, the, the preachers told him, him, that he was lying and Kevin never did anything like that. And that's what happens when you go, when you go to these minister mm -hmm. and you express your concern because people are saying, how come they never hear all of these stories now until Kevin's death? Maybe people were complaining, but nobody was listening. Right. You know, maybe people were too caught up in worshiping him and, and thinking that he's, you know, the, the, um, God's gifts, best gift to women or God best gift to men. They were too caught up and they were under a chant. They were under a spell. Wow. So who you, who you think, who you think of, of, of inviting him, of getting into that thing? Do you think he was invited when he was in Canada and how did he get to Jamaica and get more deeper in it? I know there's a lot of things. Well, Dr. Law, there, there's also a man here. Mm hmm who is a preacher and he can tell you all your business. So they all have that, that spirit, that mermaid spirit that they're working with the double in. You get it? Oh. It's becoming more and more. Whatever God does, the devil can do it. You right. get it? God prophesy and God, God read things and the devil can do the same thing. Right. Wow. I think, he got involved in it from some of the bishop them in Toronto. They must have introduced him. And when he started to go to Africa, he got more and more into it. If you notice, Kevin have on three God ring. Yes. That's, okay. One three. of the ring. One of the ring yeah. that he have on. One of the ring he have on. This is yeah. The, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me let me wait. Deep breath. Deep breath. Okay, people. So one of the ring that he have on, he have on one of the ring, and one of the ring is on his, if I can remember, is on his right hand ring. Right. Mm -hmm. so let me explain to you. That ring that he have on on his right hand ring, I am pretty sure yesterday when that car accident happened, there's something happened to that ring. It, it wasn't there. Right? That ring mm -hmm. that you have on, that ring that you have on, people, let me tell you something. You guys <laughs> may not believe a lot of things. May not believe, you may not believe in this, but what's happening is totally spiritual. If you're fleshy, you right. can't see it. If you don't know nothing about spirituality, you won't see it. Right. And that ring that, that Kevin have on on his finger today, when mm -hmm. you see somebody have on a ring like that, yeah. My best advice to you as an individual, if you don't know, you don't know. But when you see somebody have on a ring like that, it's right. best you stay far away from far them. away. That yeah. ring is power. That ring will put you in a zone that you don't want to. That ring right. will make you burn like you're inside of a, a building. That ring mm -hmm. will make you lose everything. That ring. And the ring he have on too, that ring that Kevin have on, right? He went to Suriname. He, do you know if he went to Suriname before? Syria? Suriname. Suriname? Yeah, Suriname. Okay, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure, but I, I know. He's been to many places, so, right. you know, that yeah. Came, that ring that Kevin have on came from Suriname, right? Mm -hmm. 
You have to go to Suriname to get a ring like that. Right? And when you get a ring like that and so forth, this is why I do believe 99.9% .9 is that they need to take a bulldozer and go to that church and remove that building and start to dig that building, go to his home and start to demolition that home because they're going Everything. to find a lot of skull on his property. Because in order to wear a ring like that, you have to be taking life on a regular basis. That ring, right. cannot, that ring cannot survive without mm -hmm. it blood. Mm -hmm. You cannot survive without it. Yes. Any circumstances. So I do believe and I hope that they will make all the proper arrangement and go to that property and find all these bodies that they've been looking for for years that is right there in that church building and right at that man's home and dig that place up and check that house and they will find. If they don't find more than at least 10 or 20 bodies there, I'm talking about kids and everything, something is wrong. Yeah, and anybody who comes in contact with him yes. needs to be cleansed. Yep. They need to be cleansed. Yep. Anybody, they need to be yep. cleansed. Anybody that yeah. comes in contact with him, they need to be cleansed. So let me ask you a question. It is a weird question. And I know you can't answer the question, right? Okay. But I'm still going to ask you the question. Because truth is truth and wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get cleansed? Did I ever get cleansed? Yeah. From from what? Being being knowing him or being around him when he was there. Um at those times, no. No. Okay, all right. Okay. No. All right. Don't, answer, don't answer no more. Yeah. Leave it right. That's okay. Leave yeah. It right Leave it right there. Right? Um one thing I know for sure, and people gonna like, oh, just leave it right there. That's okay. Leave it right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> let's let let sleep in dark sleep. Let's let it be what it is, because you're a truthful person and you're not a you're not a normal person, which is okay, right? I'm I'm not. And the thing is, because people always see me in makeup and lipstick and all of that, they always underestimate. I can see you. Right. I see you. Right. Yeah. And, and I see you. I know. Remember. We know exactly what's going on here. We know. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and your words, your words are good. And I'm really glad that you take the time to highlight these people because there's more. There's more to yeah. come and there's more going to be happening. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of right. uncovering. There's a lot of warning to all of those who are out there doing this. <laughs> to the poor Jamaican people. Right. We know who you are. And your time is coming. Right. We're going to find out that you're, you've been slaughtering children and drinking blood. We're going to find out. Right. We're going to find out. And Kevin is just the tip of the iceberg for all of these preachers mm -hmm. who are doing this. Yeah. And, 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 and it is in those kind of worlds, Kids and all those things are off limit. Should not be under any circumstances. And you have done it. And that's why we keep saying it over and over, people. We're going to say it. What has happened to Kevin yesterday in that car? The police did not tamper with the car. No. The government did not tamper with the car. No. Kevin did not pull a gun in the car. No. Kevin was in the car without a handcuff for a reason. For a reason. He, he could not, that handcuff that they tried to put on his hand, it's not like they never tried. They could not mm -hmm. put a handcuff on his hand. Though much okay. they tried, they could not because he was running out of time to get to Kingston on time. And they right. were still insisting of putting on a handcuff on him where that was not working because what they did not understand that as long as he got that ring on his finger, it is not going to work under any circumstances. Under any circumstances. Persistent that they persistent with it, it end up costing a life, a sacrifice a life because 
that everything was on time, everything was timing. Even where he was driving, he was not supposed to drive it. That was not their route. That was never. yeah. But they take a route, and the route that they take have end up bring them to their destiny. Mm -hmm. And everybody is saying that oh, he's not in the funeral home. Oh, he went to Canada. Oh, he went to this. He went to that. He's right there laying in the funeral. Yeah. I heard somebody say that man is on a boat going somewhere. He's on a boat going nowhere. The only thing that can happen now is somebody would take his spirit and use it. Right. That's the only thing that could happen. Somebody mm -hmm. take him and use him because he's so mm -hmm. wicked. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if I hear clear, but I heard that two of the police officers are still in hospital in critical condition. Yeah, they are. They are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and I feel sorry for their family and I feel sorry for them. Right? And right. We don't know where the ring is, people. We don't know where the ring is. We have no idea where the ring is. We don't know where the ring is. That's what I said. It was no longer there. Right. It was no longer there. And whatever happened, it happened. And we don't want to know and we're not investigating of what have happened. I don't want to investigate it either. But... These are higher power, higher people. Right. And um, so there's anything going on in Canada now? Any talk going on? Any, uh, anything in Canada right now? Canada right now? Um, can you expound on it? No, like any... No, like any, 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 anybody any here, they're talking, but it's us, us because you know that he's in church, right? Right. He's in church. Right. So it's kind of just quiet. Right. It's just hush, hush. You know, heard what happened to Kevin. You know, I can't believe. But this is, you understand, like I know this individual. This is Kevin. Right. Kevin. You know? Mm -hmm. So it's like regular Kevin to me. How how people are calling, calling him His Excellency. I'm like, Kevin. <laughs> what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, right. it's just typical. Typical Kevin. Kevin just found a route where he could he could manipulate people with his three guard rings, mm -hmm. and he could hypnotize them with his with the way of the way way he says things and his words. Right. Yeah. And he found an easy way out to make money, right. and it was good money also. Yeah. But Kevin would always have money because from you are a preacher, you're making money. Yeah. I and that's what. And it he was in Jamaica, and he was doing. Excellent down there. Very, very excellent. But very he, excellent. He did not he did not feed enough. He did not get mm -hmm. enough. And it ended up because what he did, he figured that he reached, he figured that he was the man now. So he be disobedient. What is the thing that you supposed that supposed to happen? You cannot tap into ghosts and then don't dismiss them. Right. Right. But I think Kevin violated the order. And mm -hmm. he, he had to go. And that 144 people, look at the number, eh? <laughs> that he had to sacrifice was to buy him more time. Yeah. Right. And I believe, and that, never I believe he violated our order. And he never, he's so much ghost, that, so much spirit that he tapped into, he never dismissed them. And because of that, the, the one that's in charge of all of them, take things in his heart because the little small one could not do what they're supposed to do. So the bigger one come right. and do the job. Right, right. It's, it's, just, it's just crazy. Right. But this is just the beginning for, for Jamaican people and they need to educate themselves, mm -hmm. you know? For those of who, who don't have money, they need to start doing some entrepreneurship, you right. know? Right. Because what... He, he found a route to take advantage of people. You had to pay, what, 100000 or something to get into the ark? Oh. And the funny thing, people actually thought it was a physical ark because if you notice what the police were saying to him, where's the ark? He said, the ark is coming, the ark is leaving. If you're not spiritual, you're going to miss this. Yeah. He was saying the ark is coming and all of that. And the heart did come. Because the mm -hmm. heart telling me he was coming. And what he was mm -hmm. doing, what, what, I, what I realized he was doing, 
He was trying to get as much people that day to get to see if he could secure himself. But he did not get enough that day to secure himself. And all hell broke loose. Yeah. But Dr. Love, look at it. Okay. He lines up 144 people. Mm -hmm. All the men are naked. The women have clothes on. What does that tell you? Also, when you kill all those people, where were you going to put them? That, that means this is something that he has often done. Yeah. And he got away with it. Mm -hmm. and These are things that people have to look at. Drinking a lot of blood too. And he was drinking. And, and that, day, that day when that happened in the church, they visit him and tell him exactly what to do. And he was trying to see if he could say if he could meet that numbers and he could not meet that numbers. And not meeting that numbers are break loose because most of those people did not know what was going on until they realized that day. And that's why everything, what, everything went down to what it is. There was going to be a lot more than that. As I said, 100 people, there was going to be a lot more than that. That day yeah. was going to be mm -hmm. one of the most dangerous things that ever happened. But thanks to the most high. And <laughs> even though the spirit, yeah. even though the spirit, and we understand is wrong, that they intervene, I put a stop to it because he was just not doing his job. Mm -hmm. And once, and these people have to know an order. Mm -hmm. Once these spirits ask you to do something, if you don't do the job, the spirit is coming right back to you. Mm -hmm. It's coming right back to you and it's going to take you. Because when you send something out to do the job and it's not accomplished, it's mm -hmm. coming right back to you. It's a spiritual world. From the minute we were born into this world, mm -hmm. it's a spiritual world. And we are in a spiritual warfare. Whether you want to believe in God or the devil, both of them exist. Right. They both exist. Mm -hmm. And Satan always wants blood and he always wants sacrifice and he wants it in the dirtiest way mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it, it is crazy. But one thing I know, I'm glad that you share it. I'm very glad that you share mm -hmm. it. And if anybody sit here today not listening and not looking into it, people are here looking into it. People are here. Yeah. As I've seen somebody on here, they know exactly what's going on and they know what time it is. I'm glad that you share it. And some of these people just mm -hmm. not open them yet. And they will never open yeah. it. And it's good that they don't open that because some of them have a ring right now. That they're even their self, they have to go do the ritual after they after they finish watch me tonight. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry for that person, but yeah. Right. But um <laughs> anyhow, I'm not into to rituals, I'm right. into exposing the foolishness that's going on right. in that world. Because mm -hmm. It is nonsense that a person would think that he can take people's life, get away with it, mm. verbally abuse women, and verbally insult women. Did you see the video with him saying that that's why some of you women have so much cobweb in your crotches? You know, what kind of nonsense is that? What would make women sit down in a, in a, in a congregants mm -hmm. and listen to this nonsense, a man who is just insulting women left, right, and center. It's called hypnosis. Well, they were hypnotized. One guy said something, and we're gonna we're gonna touch on that, and then we're gonna just leave it right here. Yeah. For reasons. One guy said something yesterday. Remember, you know him. We don't know him. Yeah. I'm knowledgeable enough about a lot of things, right? The guy said when he touched him yesterday. Uh, you saw that video? Yeah, the, the power. He felt heavy. Right. Yeah, yeah. You believe that guy? Mm -hmm. I I <laughs> Okay. Let's let's leave it mm -hmm. let's leave let's leave it right there. Let's leave it right there. Mm -hmm. I, I I really feel I hope that guy he turned himself around and understand that. Around. Yeah, I was really worried for him. Mm -hmm. You know, because stuff like that, stuff will start happening in your life and you don't know what happened. Right. And you don't, you don't know who bring it. Right. 
But as you can see, when he was talking, mm -hmm. he was discombobulated. Yes. He didn't know how to put his sen sentences together. Mm -hmm. He didn't know how to articulate what was really going on properly. Mm -hmm. And he was the one who came in counter with it. Yep. And, 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 and I'm, I was watching the news this morning to see if anything, and I'm hoping that he's okay. But people don't, people don't understand what the world is and what happened in the world. So... Mm -hmm. we're, going to, we're going to just leave it like that. But I want to thank you for your time. For this. You're welcome. Thank you so much for your time. You have any final word you want to tell some of these people that are sitting here? I want to just say, watch out to the pastor. Watch out for the pastors, them, mm -hmm. that say the same thing over and over. Right. So that means they're trying to hypnotize your mind for you to be under a chant. For you to sell out your family and sell out your soul. Mm -hmm. Know God for yourself. Study the word for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. And protect, protect your children. Protect them from auntie, uncle. You never know who is it. You yeah. never know who is doing it. Mm -hmm. No, I it's it. Look at what's going on. People have no empathy for each other. People have no love for each other. Yep. You get it? Yep. People will, will sell you out. For, there's no loyalty anymore. People will just sell you out for, for nothing. Nothing at all. How all do all, all, all you think some of these people um, looking at church you now are, how you see church if somebody want to go to church right now? Well, even right now, even if you wanted to go to church, it's very hard because of the COVID. But I think what's happening has shook little Jamaica. This thing, I didn't think that Kevin would take over the social media like this because this is somebody who I know personally. You get it? Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, from one week now, Kevin is rocking the media. You get it? Yeah. So if this is somebody who I personally know. And I see church different. I've been always seeing church different because once um, my friend came to me and said, Kevin tried to sleep with me and we went to pastor and pastor denied and stuff. I just start seeing church differently. Church, don't think that it's a safe haven. I'm not preaching against church. Right. I'm, I'm assuming there's still some that is loyal That's out there. Tired. I don't know. Yeah, do I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not preaching against church, but right. church is not a safe haven. What the word of God says, the wheat and the tear shall grow together until the day of harvest. Right. And it also says a sower went out to sow. And some fell on good ground, some fell on thorny ground. Right. So it says at the end of the day, God will come and reap. Right. He will come and reap. So you just got to be pure in heart. I don't view, I don't know which church I will be attending, but church for me right now, it's off limits. God for me is always welcome, but church for me right now, off limits. Me too. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I'm out of trying that on your face, but... Thank you for your time. Definitely. You're welcome. We'll talk again and stay blessed. Okay. Okay. Bless up, Dr. Love. Bless. Bless. Okay. All right. Thank Take you. care. People, some of you may some of you may have sit on here and not even understand what is going on. And some of you are sit I just black about two persons. Because I saw a lot of people sitting on here and they're they're so some of the people is just stupid. When it's stupid and the, let me tell you something. Me personally, me personally, I grew up in church because I didn't have a choice. I never have a choice. I don't have nothing against church. As a matter of fact, let's go back to that. I believe in the creator that create all of us. I believe in the power of the creator. But as time goes by, and I get older, I don't believe in a church. And I don't feel like I want to go in a church and sit down and worship in a church. Everybody have their own opinion. I'm not telling nobody these days to get up and go worship, worship in a church. Go sit down 
with a Bible and praying in church with members who are not who they are. I've seen so much things that happen in church. How church put you down. How much people in church. Let me tell you something. When I was, all the churches I go to, I can say I was a bad influence to a lot of church because every church I go to, when I used to go to church, I sleep with few females in the church. And you don't even have to say not much to them. The female living in the church, them, them front hat. Them front hat like stove. Them warm and bad. I see some hateful thing in a church. You know the first place I go here, I hear a bad word I will never forget in our church. In our church. I was going to a church. I was going to a church in New Jersey. I don't call the church name. And there's a woman in my church. And every Sunday the woman come, the woman get up and carry in one bowl for sitting. And it's a church sister tell me, say, you don't know why she a galang so. It's because she did have one man and that church sister that take the man and this unrate it and blah, 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 blah. Then guess what happened? I'm going to go to another church and guess what happened? I'm going to go to church. <laughs> so funny. The pastor wife I sleep with one deacon in one nether church. And one lady in that church, who she's an Asian lady in the church, teach the pastor wife how to speak in tongues in Asian language, but she was not speaking in tongues. The same woman go and tell other people, say, no, when you hear she a carry on like that, she has speak in the Asian language, but nobody in the church understand what it means. And she has sleep with the deacon over that church. One church down there, so and that church over there, so. But glad me appoint me and in different different. I don't know where it is and whatever it is. Right? Now listen to this now. It has a way to you know. When me baptized first time in a church, you know. Me baptized because me follow one of my friends go to church. One church near Greater New Point Baptist Church in Irvington, New Jersey. And me tap go to church. You know me tap go to church? Because they made I give out surfing tickets in that church to everybody who baptized, and they never give me them a tap go. I left and go to another church. I'm going to that church, I'm going to have an iron church. Never forget it. And the pastor up in there preach. And when the pastor in there preach, the pastor said to me, say, Young man, you know the church, you know the pretty, pretty shirt, God, I call you. And I get up like I eat it and go up there. He know God was calling me. In there, I don't feel good in that church. Yeah. One of my friends are dead and gone again now. She invited me to church here in her husband and came and go, We don't have one place down at Jersey, don't so. We don't so. Thank you, Ali. I've been telling this to you. We only go in that church. The man, the, 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 my friend was dead. Brother was the pastor. Called me up and said, My man, listen to this. And called me up and said, I have come up because they tied, they tied my shirt up at Clarendon. And the man started telling me one whole heap of sitting when I go so. And when me leave the church, my friend tell me everything what happened. I said, oh, me not, for, me not for listen to whatever that was said. That all that was just to get the church going. That or that. Left Angoa and church again. And one pastor man from Canada, Kevin friend, Pastor man from Canada named Pastor Fisher. Pastor Fisher name from Canada. Same church. See me sit on that church. And I can't tell me about say, me for baptize. Because the Lord tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, baptize to the water of my soul. And why am I resisting? And me go up at the altar like this. I don't have a God. Go up at the altar and tell him at the altar. I said, I'm going to go to Alcan and turn up up there. Yeah, I'm baptized multiple times. And when the pastor went to pray and all of that, and he come and he comes and he put his hand on me and he hold me head and this, that wicked bitch, he squeeze me head, so he squeeze us up. And when you, when you walk over to me, you know, people, when I like that, I swear to God, me turn up firm, me, me move my foot, the man turn up firm like this, and he go like this for me head. And he press it, and he press it, and he press it. 
and him press it and him pray and him pray and I stand up firm. And he let go after me and go back over there and pray for somebody else. And that wicked bitch come back again and go so again. And him press and him press and him and him pray and him pray and him pray. And when him push me, turn up firm, see where. He left again and, and go and go pray for him. And he come back again and I see him thing again. And he go like this and all of that. But my name Pastor Fisher from Canada. Swear to God. You see, when he come back, he last time and press and press and say, we turn up firm. You the man said to me, say, Young man, why are you resisting? I'm going to look at him so, I'm going to look at him like this and walk away. Remember to tell you the same story about him, you know? And then go away again and come back at him. English man said, Young man, you have to baptize today. I want you to baptize today. Why are you not ready? I'm going to look at him. And two minutes, one man pressed me in the morning. Me, they have some friend in that church. And I said, All right. I said to him, say, I'm ready. Everybody here may tell the story over the years. This is not, this is real shit that happened. I said, me ready. And he, he go like this to some church sister. And one of them come. Well, my friend, he, he, they watch me sometimes too. Somebody watch me not call him. And they come and they hold me and they carry me around and they go in through the door and sit and I'm a girl on there. And me I said to myself, this ratted bitch here today, you know. That's right. I'm going to take the dip. I'm going to go around there and chat and then chat and then chat and then chat and then dip me in the water. We go into the water. Someone else said, oh, whatever it is. I said, let me tell you something. You just went down the book up on the devil. We'll never find a way to get away from the devil. Let me tell you something. You have to, me decide to me not upset no devil in my life. And me go there and me baptize the and me left the church. When I left that church, I must have gone there two or three times. And up till today, I have never returned back to that church. Never. And you know what happened? You know what happened? <laughs> Ali, don't okay, care what you know what happened? I live till today, day for telling us that. Church is not what it is. Sometimes me and my woman talk about church and my woman and say, boy, one time me and my woman say, she feel like she want to go to that church. She want to go to her God and go to that church. And I say, you can go on now. Because I ain't going. Me not going to no church. Because me know too much dirty people in a church. The first time I was half ahead, I know one church, I went with the pastor that after me head in one church. I remember time. First time. The time I'm in America, I'm not papers. And I come to America, I want papers. And instead of some of the half of my papers, I'm half of my head. And me and the girl go to the movie theater, SS Green movie theater in the West Side, and go there. And me and the girl like movie theater. Pastor Data. And she had tell me in the place, say, oh, she half a five for one and ten for one. And poor me never know what is five for one and ten for one. Never know say the girl half of me say, yeah, if you want a head, a five, and if you want six, a ten, la la. Hmm? I never know. Then there's something going on. And when me decided and decided, me said, me, let me tell you something. When me look into church and what church becomes, me realize that I run into some of the most, some of the most wicked and dirty people in my will go to church. Some of the most, me go, listen to some, me go to, me go to church, you know. We go to one day at church. I ain't you know, at the church. I have all my pants. You know, when you go to church, you're going to fit it pants. I mean, you know, at the church, I'm going to light on them. I mean, at the church, I'm going to get hard in the church. Start rise up in the church. And when I'm in the church, I'm going to start get hard in the church, you know, man. I mean, at the bench like this. We want the name until now. Until now, such a name, one church around us up. And then the day I say, everybody must hold up there and I'm praying. And the day in that church and me, and people don't think this is not joking. Me in that church and me, me start get hard. And you know, when your man start get hard, your pants from start short. Sure. And this is the whole house, woman, they're right beside me. And all them must hold up there and I hold up my because me I put my hand on my pants to hold it down so. Right? And then when I say, young man, put up your hand and I go so. I'm going to put you up and all that. And I say, Pray so she knows me hard, cause the why I get hard, the girl that was preaching me not like is a girl me didn't like I mean I used to talk. 
But we never do the thing. So we see how the way she dress that day, feel nice. So anyway, then say, all members have to come to the altar, you know. So I said to myself, I'm going to go to you know. So anyway, me put me in my pocket like this. And I hold me and I walk go out there. I hold it down because I'm going to tell you, it's church, me, you know. Right on there, so. And you say, when I go out there, and then they have prayer and them a gal and them a chant. And when them a prayer, them a collect money and everything and so forth. Me do that. The same look all ass man, see them a come up there and all that and turn up right beside me and say them a pray. And then they and then them then that's some be that prayer and sitting like that and human did it. And people then say, you man say, young man, hold up your hand. And I go so and work me on and you man say, When you in the house of God, you must know to control on yourself. I feel so ashamed. Remember we tell you the story before they got to. I feel so ashamed and embarrassed because the old man said, Sister, me had a wonderful idea. And I guess what now? When time they didn't start chanting and praying and so forth, me just take my little time and then my prayer. I just saw me the prayer. Go back. Go back and I go back and I go back. Little, 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 go back. Tap on the tap, man. I did it. Pray and I go back and I go back. And you see, one time I realized somebody close to the door. I just make a zook and go to the door. I never return back at that church until somebody invite me to that church. I never go back there. And I want to tell you something. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you church people are wicked. Church people is so wicked. I may have to, may have to change the story because many of the people in my watch. One of my friends in the church, one of my friends in the same church, me and my friend, in there with the pastor daughter in the church, the pastor daughter, they on the pulpit, I preach. In wife, I go to the church. I was there at his baptism. Me, I show you all church people wicked. I was at his baptism. And him there with the pastor daughter and the pastor Wife knew about it and the pastor knew about it and other member knew about it and me know about it because the girl tell me about it because me know the girl because the girl used to chat to one electrician with me know and the same girl gave the electrician head in the basement. Anyway, every time the girl I go the girl take her pick me and carry go drop half. And the man yard where the wife live and left the wife to watch a picnic and the wife have it in her head the whole time and say, the, the, the pastor that is such a nice person, a great person, and a loving person. The wife cook food and give to the pastor that and feed the pity them. The man take trip and go all over the place with the pastor that and tell the wife, say, Film job, send him away. The pastor that had disappeared and him disappeared and him and the pastor that had fully out. Fully, fully out. That's why I tell you why me stay away from church. But you hear what happened now, people. Never talk about telling this story because remember, let me tell you about this before. So listen to this now. Me go, me get to understand, say. The man breed the pastor daughter. And the man come to me, you know, borrow four hundred dollars dollar for me one day. And when the man borrow four hundred dollars dollar for me, we ask me for four hundred dollars dollar. Me pick us something wrong. You know, so the man take the four hundred dollars dollar and carry the pastor daughter go have a abortion. And he borrow my money, and when he be giving back my money, he never give back my money. We can ask him for the money. Then you don't know what happened, I know. One big Nyamins are going and me go the big Nyamins people. I go the big Nyamins and they're the big Nyamins and things like that. Everybody nice. Left the Nyamins and so forth, everything done and blah, blah, blah. I go there, go see the pastor daughter there, and I saw him there, and I see everybody like a loving family. Then you don't know what happened. One another day again, no, me, they bought my business and then call me and say, they have a little eating that they all said, I can't come by. 
So no me no no me am fool and love my belly sometimes. Cause you know say them fool too. Me take up myself and go and I never know say me I go end up in a the ark or the rapture. So when me go there, I don't know. Me sit down and me get my little liquor and me get my little food and me eat. it. Me see the man mother over there so. Me see the wife over there so. Me see they have a friend over there so. And me see they have a friend over there so. But me notice that the tension in the place is not right. So as that's what I tell you. When you're spiritually connected, I say the tension don't right people. So me sit down there now. And me did I hit my phone and I go away. But it's just not right. So all of a sudden, me here. The mother say, let's all pray. No, people, no. I swear to God up above. No, this is no stand-up comedy. This is a real something happening. God believe you up above. Let's all pray. No, like the mother said, I want to pray. It's too much tension. Too much. God, and she start chanting us. And it's around so all this now. And she start praying. And when the woman start praying, remember say no. Me no I go and work as a my friend, you know. When the woman start praying and all that, and she are getting that spirit, and when the woman don't care, the woman look at me and say, Chris, tell them where I go on. You say, huh? You know what I go on, tell them where I go on, the spirit tell me. You know what I go on, tell them where I go on. What you know about such and such? Me say, me? He say, me don't know what about. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. So you don't know about, me say, me say, listen to me, nobody get me this conversation. Yeah. Don't get me this conversation, because yeah. I don't know nothing about this. I don't know where I'm going, you just tap prayer and then point for me, you know. I don't know about this. Because I don't know what conversation, you know. So I didn't know till the wife start chant. The other friend start chant. One little one start chant. I did it. I don't know some pork. Never forget the day. I just take my little time. And I said, me I leave you saying because yes or no. And I, mm -mm. and I leave. I leave. And when I leave, me glad me get away from that ideal that was going on there. But it never end good. Broke up and mash up and things go on. Divorce and things go on. Until the pastor daughter finally come out and confess and say everything. And when the pastor daughter confess and say everything will happen. And tell the way the details is on the story and so forth. It was a wicked act the man do. And the man the pump pulpit every day. I leave. I left. Because I never wanted to be there that day. Until the whole thing go on and go on, until everything mash up and rate it and blah, 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 and all that and so forth. And from that day, I stopped going to church. I don't go to no church. Me not going to church. Me used to go to church, just go and never go look church sisters in there. That's how I used to, it used to be my pickup spot. Go and never go look woman in there. I ain't going to church, I say, whatever it is. I'm going there, I'm going to give them a little $20 and so forth. I'm going to give them a little $10 and so forth. And uh, that, I'm left, I'm going to say, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go to church. I don't go to no church. I don't tell anybody to say nothing about church. But as soon as you get hold and you believe and you know things, you have to work with your inner spirit. You see your inner spirit? You cannot tell me, say, me need to go take up a Bible and read and go to the house of the Lord and worship. The house of the Lord is between me and the Lord and me and my inner spirit and wherever I stand. That is the house of the Lord. I do not need to be in a building with five or ten people to worship. Because if I'm in the building with five or ten people worship, out of the ten people, six of them are drunk, girl, and the other four okay are on the way to become a drunk. Girl. So you see, when you get up as an individual and say, You have to you praise to the Creator, and you are going to read the word, and you are going to make Him talk to you, you are going to believe, you are going to listen to Him, and you are going to do as He said. You have to know how to separate between God and the devil. You have to know which voice to listen to and which way to go. Because if you see the stove and you know the stove and you know put your hand on it, if you see the care and see the care come, you know walk out tonight. The devil is telling you so you can walk out tonight. The devil is telling you, says, okay, if you put your hand on the stove. And when you're in a church praying with people and worshiping with people, 
They don't mean you no good and they are not seeing you for who you are. The pastor man will only get up and read the Bible and read whatever theme art can take and read what's comfortable to him. But when Daniel start to go down to the scripture and the scripture start to get very touchy and serious, him stop right there and don't want to continue because him start to get scared. Why are you preaching to me when time you scared about certain things in the Bible? It's better if I read it for myself. Your inner spirit is the spirit that keeps you going and let you understand what life is. So I don't know people get up every day and say, well, okay, let's go to church and worship with my brothers. Your brothers and sisters are your inner spirit and you. Even your one picnic, if you get up and worship with your picnic, can be drunk and can be a deficit you worship with. Worship by yourself and know him for yourself. When you know him for yourself, then you can tell others about him. You can also say to someone, well, you know, this is what I've learned. I'm going to tell you something. It's hard to come in contact with God and still be the same. It is hard to come in contact with the Creator and still be the same. You cannot be the same. Because if you are the same when you come in contact with the Creator and you want to tell me about Him, then there comes a problem. So you cannot... Come in contact with him and still be the same. That is the reason why you have to know him for yourself. You have to believe. Why do you think of people who walk up here? Because they don't believe. They don't put God as a priority. I want a job. God, give me a job. God, you know, you got advice. He hear you. Tomorrow come in and get a job. The next day I get a job, he come to me and say, hey, what happened? I don't want a job to go on now. I don't want other man to know so I can't help you now. Really? You want to take your last dollar and give it to other man. Because at the end of the day, the devil can't get a glass and God can't get a glass. Yeah. But at the end of the day, both these glass look very pretty. And look the same. They are identical. They are the split image of each other's. But which one of this glass have in the water? Both of them look like they have in water. Which one are the right one? How do you choose between the devil and God? Most people choose the cleanest and the prettiest one. Because they think the cleanest and the prettiest one is it. When you don't know the one with the dirty night, a this you have to choose. Then choose what is visible to them. That is what they choose. And that is where the confusion comes in. And once you go to this glass and you rest and this glass is pretty and the water is pretty and that one I got you don't want it. You got so trapped to this one and so comfortable with this one that you start to worship this one and you don't want to worship this one because this one gives you a faster, a faster response than this one. When this one takes the time to give it, but at the end of the day it's going to work out to be the best at the end of the day. That is where it comes in. You go to go get a green card, immigration tell us, well, can't get a green card, you, 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 you deny, you know, because of this. First thing you do, you want to find out, yeah, man. It is a reason why God make it happen like that. Him have another purpose, him have another way for you. You go to court and you lose a case and so forth. God have a way to work things out. Give him the chance. We'll work it out. I don't have nothing against anybody. But let me tell you something. The most Batman in the church and the most lesbian in the church. The most hobby work in the church. The most dirty people in the church. And the worship with them and glorify with them. He can drink from them. And the Madua can I even man and on the on themselves say they're not it because they go to church. Church is a building and church is a cover up. Church is a cover up. At the end of the day, when you find yourself in a problem, the church is not going to save you. You have to save yourself with the inner spirit. So me, who wants to say, the devil? You want to call me the devil because me not say what I say, me not follow what I say. Look on Kevin. All those people glorify Kevin and say, boy, Kevin, are they, uh, uh, um, you're excellent. Hmm? You're excellent. And they believe in him and they glorify him and give him money. You cannot tell those people nothing around. Church is a building and a money-making thing. God bless the few who stand up and the few who do something to show say, it is the house of the Lord. That's why I don't live by it. When we did and God, they have to church in our church. 
Go on your knees and pray and ask him to guide you and protect you. You listen. Your energy is what you go by. And if you cannot go by your energy, don't make no church drain your energy. Because when you go in a church and then drain your energy, then take your energy and use it again so you turn broke and vaporize. Show me one church you broke. Show me one pastor who broke and vaporized today. Dear. Show me one. All of them are successful persons. And you become that broken and vaporized person. You can't find a night dinner. They will always find a night dinner because they have your money. And they tell you what they want you to believe. No for me, I sell a pocket book. No for no one buy a pocket book. No one buy a pocket book. But when you go to church and get money, when I was selling something like I see, I said, before no money, I sell some pocket book to them. And this is the house of the Lord where I'm standing. And I sell pocket book to them on discount. So when you want some pocket book, you buy some pocket book. I have pocket book on discount. I'm going to go buy Nigel Sam for one dollar and leave a review. I show you all that pocket book today. Right now, I show you all that 250 pocket book. Anybody want? Bring the money come to the house of Dr. Love. Here's the difference with me and the church. Because this has nothing to do with God. You see, when you tell me, say, you want a pocket book, I take your money, I give you something. It come from me to you, and you have something to show that you work hard, so you have something good. When the pastor take your money and put it in the offering plate, you never see your dollar where it goes or what you do with it. You just see him driving around and living lavish while you're still sitting here working 9 to 5 or your 6 or your 10 job. So this is the house of Dr. Love selling pocketbooks. The best quality pocketbooks. So if you want pocketbooks, you can just, you can just purchase this nice pocketbook in the house of Dr. Love. $250 right here tonight. If you like this, make this be yours. $250 will give you this pocketbook, included with shipping. I am giving you a discount at the past. I will not give you a discount. Right here, $250. Right? Right here, so $250 will give you this pocketbook. Okay, next one. $250 will give you this nice spending pocketbook right here. Shipping and angling, angling with care, is right here. And remember, if you also want a vibrator, I got it right here. Body in a drop. 250 dollars will give you this right here. You can buy this one right now. I have the best quality. The best quality around here. You will like it. It's authentic. It is good and it is quality. Now, right here. This nice piece again can be yours. Right? Put your money in on my offering plate and I will make sure I give you a return on your money that you put in my offering plate right here. Beautiful and nice. Luxury is right here. $250 can be yours. Put your money in my offering plate and I will put the gift in your hand right here. $250. There's my number at the bottom of the page. Right? Right here. Right here. Nice piece right here. You can have this piece anytime. It's $250 right here. I sell them all the time. People buy them. As I said, put your money in my offering plate right here. This can be yours right here. I will make sure you get it and I will make sure it deliver from the post office to your doorstep right here. And you can walk around and live in luxury. $250 right there. So. Next one again. Moving right along. Nice, beautiful black. GG right here is ready to go. This can be yours. I can ship it to you for before Christmas. I can ship it to you before your birthday. If you're walking out there and I'm out, man, I'm out the man and bring me the money and put it on my half and plate right here, so. Right here, so. Right here. Let's go down over here now. Let's go down, right? We're still in the tone, you know, to back. This nice Tory Burch right here. The best quality can be yours. Very nice, very authentic, very sturdy and so good. You can put a lot of things in this. Whether you do shoplifting or weightlifting or whatever it is, this can be yours right here. Take this as it is. Put your money in my offering plate. I will show the deliver to you. The Lord said, ask and it shall be given. Not, not and it shall be opened. Right here. Beautiful piece again. 
right here. Yes. Reen, if you want something, I can give you a birthday discount. Right? I can give you a little discount. Just tell me which one you want and I'll make it happen and I can ship it out for you tomorrow morning. Right here. This piece is so nice. People, I do not do layaway around here. But listen, I will make it affordable for you. $250. Right now, we'll give you this nice, beautiful, gorgeous piece right now. Trust me. Very big and nice. Right, that's up. Nice. Okay. Let's continue to the $250 around here. Very nice piece right here, ready to go. This piece is very nice. Black and sturdy and nice, ready to go. The hardware is very nice right here, so. You can make this one be yours right now. $250. I do Zell, I do cash up at the Western Union right here. And I do shipment at the post office right here. Hmm? It come with strap, yes. All of them come with strap. This one here, right here, this is the only strap that comes with it. Sit inside of it. It come with the piece. This piece go at the bottom. That means we put stuff in there. It sits on it, okay? It come with a bag. So when you get here, get your bag, you can put it in it. And it come with a newspaper too, right? The year newspaper that this come. All right. Right here. Right here. Beautiful piece. Right here. Nice. And this is big enough. Ladies, if you're going out and you want to come while you're in the club, you can open it right here. See, they're very nice. It has different compartment. And you can put your body in a jar right in it. And you can close it. See that? Your hood fit in it. Okay. All right. Nice piece right here, ladies. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Right here. You can't beat this. Ready to go right now here. Do a step. Okay. Let's put this right over here. Nice. Stay right there because a customer's coming. If you like to travel, nice traveling bag right here. It's beautiful. Ready to go. Let's open it. You see, zip it down. Right. Inside of it right here, it comes with the strap. So look, if you like to run away from your man or run away from your family, right here. I have belt, don't worry, I have belt. Stay right there, I have everything you need. Right here, very big, coming out of a compartment. And it comes with a long strap. You're going on the plane and so forth, you put a little things in that living star, put it over the overhead bin, take it out the overhead bin, you're living in star, right here. 250 is ready to go. Okay. The spice bag right here. Beautiful piece. It come with the long strap and the short strap. Here's the long strap. Right? Right here. Very nice. I have the best quality in town. You will never find these in Chinatown. Never find them in Manhattan. You only find them right here. Look at it. Beautiful piece. Look into it. Beautiful and nice. 250 ready to go right now. And I also have the wallet that goes with it. Check it. No worry. We soon go down to some other price. Okay, wait a minute, stay right there. I have belt. You want a belt? I have belt for ladies and I have belt for men. Stay right there. Stay right there. I have the beautiful belt right here. If you're looking for belts, I have belts right here. Right now I'm running a special tonight. If you want a belt right now, I'll give you the belt with shipping and angling, only for a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Right here. I have belt for men and I have belt for ladies. Ready to go right here. I'll give it a belt only for hundred dollars, only for today. Very nice. Right here, ready to go. I have slippers. Stay there, lady. Stay there. I have slippers. I know someone have big foot, but we have things to big foot to know where yourself. Very nice. Nice fender belt. Right here. Ready to go. Stay there. Boom. Wait a minute. I'm gonna deck note. I'll show myself. Um, please, no one says I have shoes here. I have slippers in size 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Bam, check this out now. I'm going to show you, we can deck you out now. Check this, right? You yeah, see, you yeah, get it in a box like that. Bam, put it down. Take out the slippers. I'll show you what I'm going to know. You have a Jamaica for December. Bam, check this. Only 150 will give you this. Bam, check this. In a different style. Check this out. You can get this bag right here. If you decide you want to buy this and this, guess what I'm going to do for you and so forth. This bag here, so you pay two shipment, I will only give you this bag here only for 230 I will give you the slippers for 150 so you have to have one shipment. Beautiful, relative. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. You're getting a $1,500 value 
only for 230, only for 150. Right, yes, sir. Right, yes, sir. Outside. Check it. Then if you don't like that one there, then you have that one here. Check it. You open it, yes, sir. Bam. You open it, yes, sir. Bam. You open it, why? Bam. See? Nice. With your slippers, everything, you're ready to go. We have everything for you, man. Right, yes, sir. Beautiful. Okay? Same price. Can't be that. Hmm? Okay. Put this right here, sir. All right. Put this back in my day. Ready to go. So, see, that's just a runner, sir. Put it there, sir. No, let me show you. Any guys watching me, if you want a nice sneakers, I have them. Check it. I have them in the 12 and the 13. Right here. Beautiful. Right there, sir. Any man want this right now, I will only give it to you right now for 220. Can't beat that. Right now, you get a $1,200 value only for 220. You can't beat that. Ready to go. All right, put it down here, sir. Now. Let's go down to the $200 bag now. Including with shipping $200. Hmm? I have size 9 in the slipper. No, in the shoes, I don't have any size 9. All I have. I have it in 10, 11, 12, and 13. In the slippers, I have it in 8, 9, 10, and 11. Right, that's so $200. Including with shipping, only a special. $200. Including with shipping. Bam. $200, including with shipping. You can't beat this. No deal. I give you price, you take price. Okay, no. I'm going to show you guys. May have a few 120 bag leave. Only 120 for it, okay? Don't come with no discount because we're not discount. I may have scarves too, okay? No, if you like this bag right here, I give it to you right now for 120. Right? 120. I have one more 200 bag over here, so 120. Right? May have some 150 bag. Wait, I'm going to take 150 bag. 120. Hold on. 120. Ready to go. 120 with shipping. I will show you the shoes again, cause when you can buy the shoes, you know, man, do you know? Okay, 120. I'm gonna show you the 150 bar. See that? 120, nice, ready to go. 120, all right. Let me show you the 150 bar now. 150, included with shipping. Bam. Right, that's all. 150, including with shipping, ready to go. 150, including with shipping, ready to go. 150, ready to go. Right, that's all. Special tonight. Also, if you don't have enough money to buy that, you can buy this. Right now, I'm ready to go. For shipping and angling, I will only give you this right now if you want it. I will sell you this only for $65 right now if you want it. Can't be that. $65. If you don't want to, you can have this. Ready to go. Okay? Work with your pocket. Work with your pocket. Work with your pocket. Okay. Now, let's go back down to the $200 bag. Beautiful. $200. Beautiful. $200 again. Nice and beautiful. $200. Right there, sir. $200. Yes, I have Gucci. Yes, a lot of them. Right there, sir. See that? $200. I have everything you want. You want Gucci, my friend? You have Gucci. You can have this one. Butterflies. Right? Special I run tonight. Okay? If you want a Gucci right now, you know what? I'm going to run a special tonight. I will only let you have this bag tonight if you want it only. For, for you only, if you want it, I'll give it to you only for 220 right now. But after tonight, after in the life, after an hour, then it goes back to the regular price. But this for you right now, it goes. Now, scarf. Ladies, if you want scarf, I have plenty of scarf. I have scarf. No money on the page, you want scarf? Because I'm on the big. See that? We have a scarf then, right? No matter not special tonight. Hmm? Only yet a only yet to that include the shipping. Right, that's all. 
Send this card, right as up. Um, my love, the LZ. 65, my friend, it can be yours right now. Just cash up me, as have me, or pay for me, and it can be yours. I'm ready to ship it tomorrow, right as up. Let this card then. Right as up. Ready to go. Okay, what else I did not show you guys? Oh, the shoes. Someone want to see the shoes? Any ladies in here, you can buy this for your boyfriend. I buy this for your side man. Right as up. I have them in size 10, 11, 12, and 13. Right? Right as up. You can't beat this. I give it 220. Any man right now, 220. Can't beat that. All right? And you know what I'm going to do for one of you? Anybody that buy two bags tonight and I have your size, I will give you one of this. Only for tonight. Right? I will only give you one of this tonight. If you buy two bags, I will only give you one of this for tonight, only for $40, if you buy two back. Otherwise than that, you pay the 150 If I have your size, you will only get it for $40, if you buy two back. If you buy three back, I may have your size, the gear is free, mature the scene for you. If you buy three back tonight, I may have your size, mature the scene for you. No, if you buy three back or more, I mean, the other size. I will give you a vibrator. Body in a jar. Be yours. Right or so. Can't beat that. Okay. What is me I got to do, you know? Oh, the bag is a customer's bag. You know? This bag is a customer's bag. This got to go to the customer's tomorrow. This got to go to the customer's tomorrow. This bag. This is for a customer. This is for our customers. Hold on. This is for our customers. This is for our customers. This is for our customers. Right here, so. This is right here. It cannot go for anybody. Else. So this got to go somewhere. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. This is for somebody. Um, yeah, we sell everything. We sell everything. Mm, where is it? Let me check my phone. Okay, people. Music time. Music time now. No. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run a special. Oh, somebody want this? Hold on there. I have to block somebody. I have to block somebody. I have to block somebody. Where's the Janko? Where is the Shitos? Okay, Shitos, you get black. Where is Shitos? The one on there. Okay, Shitos, what is the Indian? You get black. Where you black the Janko? Bye. Black, it says, they won't be able to message you or find your profile or any future profile that they have created. They will be black for good. Bam! Black them. Okay. Junko. Gone. Yes, I shipped to Texas. I actually just shipped off. Oh, I just shipped off something to somebody in Texas. Um, today. Let me send them and check the information. Black that Junko there where I got back. Me? No, sir. Me not black, yo. What you name by Instagram? Me not black, yo. Okay, hold on. Right. 
Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do here now. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to run, I'm going to run. I'm going to go to music here now. I'm going to go to music here now. Okay? It's all about the musical thing now. You know what I'm going to do here now. Everybody is ready? Everybody is ready for what I'm going to do now? Hello? 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 Fucking actual. Listen. Listen to me out there now. You are going to do it now. Music. I'm going to show you a pocketbook. I'm going to show you a pocketbook. Any one of you ladies that's watching me right now, WhatsApp me. If you can find the song, purchase the song. The name of the song is called You and I. You and I by Niger Boy. Any one of you can send me a video of you singing the song. A great video. You will be entered in a chance to win a pocketbook. Any one of you ladies that's watching me right now, you will get a chance to win a pocketbook. And you're going to win a pocketbook like this. You will get to win a pocketbook like this. Either or either. One of them two you get to win. You will get a chance to win a pocketbook. So if you send me the video, and the video with the most like and the best one will get a chance to win either this one or this one. So in order to enter into the competition, the competition will end on November 15. If you want to win this, you have to go buy the song or ask me for the song. I better have you buy the song. And you send me the receipt of the song. And I'm going to put the receipt. And I'm going to shake it up. And if a name come up, they will get a chance to win this pocketbook. The song only costs $1. This costs $250. So you are spending $1. Just to get $250. And all you have to do buy the song one time and send me a video so that I me know the song singing the song and send me a copy of the receipt that you purchased the song and also leave a review when you buy the song who want to enter into the competition to win any one of these packet book one dollar will give you a 250 dollar value who want to enter into the competition the song is available on our musical platform the name of the song is called You and I. Y-O-U-A-N-D, the letter I. Any one of you want to enter, it ends November 15. You will get a chance to win this. Not only that you need to contribute to win this, this. if you're in Jamaica, Another thing on the table, you will get a chance to win a data plan for 30 days. You will also get a chance to win a 100 US. You will also get a chance to win an iPhone 12. None of this is bootleg, it is legit. You can win pocketbook, pocketbook, a 30 days plan, did you sell top up? You can also win $100 on an iPhone 12. So if you if you have what it takes to enter into this competition, it is not about the competition. It's a legit competition. Ends November 15. You and I. Here's the song. Here's the song. Let me tell it. You and I. See, let me pin it. My number, let me put out my numbers out there. 
My number is, um, Arlene, can you put my number in with that that you just did on the target? Put in my phone number in it. You and I by Nigel Boy with my phone number. So anybody want to get in touch with me can get in touch with me. Right? My number is 973-342-2487. 973-342-2487. I'm going to sing my heart out. Yes. And trust me, you sing your heart out. And send me the video, I'm gonna post the video. You win, I guarantee you, I ship your pocketbook, I may ship your money to you, I may ship your phone, or whatever it is. And if you win the credit and you don't want the credit, I can send the credit to somebody in Jamaica for you. It's not gonna be no bootleg. And please, none of my friends, and please do not call me and say, boy, I don't want to win, it never works out. So, how much people want to enter in it? It start today. It start today. You can enter into the competition to win. My number is 973-342-2487. Please do not call me and call me and beg me, say, boy, I got you all the time, I beg me a pocket book. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. How this go? How it goes, you ask me for the song, or you go and purchase the song. The name of the song is called You and I. Okay, let me black the shit toss, right? I said, here comes another shit toss. I'm gonna like on the shit toss, then come on and black them, you know? Yes, man, black the shit toss. Boy, I make you come and smell the pit front talk and get black like that. That is an embarrassment, embarrassment to society. Black the ocean. There's the number down there, and there's the name of the song. Call me and WhatsApp me, and I will send you the song. Or if you can't purchase the song, I will send it to you, but you still have to send me the promotion video. Okay? I think that is. That is a nice half I'm giving you guys. Let me see. I would text me. Oh. No, I'm in a black here. No, sir. Black what you all nasty, mister. Black, black them. Okay, people. Sassy, what are uh, Anybody want to? Official, what's up? Anybody want to come on the live? Before I get off, I'm about to get off because I don't have time for this early, you know. Let me send my girl a receipt. Somebody in that text us, buy something from me. Let me send her a receipt, go give her a right now. Send her a receipt, go give her a right now. VIP. VIP. I'm sending you the tracking number now, okay? Okay, let me send the tracking information to somebody. Tracking. Texas, okay, here it is. Texas. Texas. Okay. It's at the bottom. Okay. All right, I'm about to get out of this. I'm going to tell you. I'm not really like to depend on so long, you know. People, let me tell you something. You know me notice. You know me notice. Me notice a lot of some of these women on Facebook. They might go through a whole heap. Yeah, have one particular sitting on Facebook. Who are going through a mental breakdown. Everything people do them follow. If you paint their house red, then paint their house red. No matter where you do them, father. Them just living in the shoes of fathers. And then get up every day and the mental state of mind where they got you. With them broke and pauper yourself, then, then turn trouble upon people. And then get up every day and then say them are cause people. And then get up every day and then say them are people, a friend. You know, say, me enough of them, a friend. I never met enough of them in my day of my life, you know. And then get up every day and then depend on what little money on Facebook. What for they get that money? And when they not get the money, then cost people. When people live in Jamaica, what is me can understand. But when you live in America, what is that? No cut dash. When you live in America as a, as a female and no man no look for you, no man don't find interest. There's something wrong with that. When you live in America, a man out there look green card and even man walk past and don't want a green card from you. Something wrong with that. 
When you see man done ban people and them have to go find animals for putting in their house. Because that's the only thing can keep them going. You know it's a life really bad with them. Hmm? You know the things really go bad with them. Hmm? When you have to turn to an animal, if you keep your company, you know the things is really bad. Hmm? And look how, how much man out of the road. Whether the man more thinking, holding, whatever it is, one man out of the road, and then can't find sitting put in the house. You can't find a man for you, you can't call your own. You can't say, This is my babe. You can't say, John Brown passed this to me. How you live in America? You live in America with an American passport and nobody now wants you. Something wrong with that man. Something wrong with you and something wrong with your whole life and your whole environment. You know the problem with, the, with man these days? A lot of man don't want to watch this man. You can't watch this and me watch this. You can't work. I know them though. Then get up every day and then live on Dana name and say Dana this and Dana that and Dana this and then want to be like Dana so bad. You can't take away nothing from that, you know. You can't take away say she's a successful person. And she has been blessed. And she gets support. They want to be like her so bad and they will never be like her. Ah, when time then I gone about her business, they can't be like her not there. And this is not first of all, I'm gonna tell you something. I make my name years ago. I don't have to call somebody name for me to look relevant or look rich as our friends. I have a friend who me want a friend if me feel like say you're worth my friendship and you're doing something good. But then one then I come on and then one then I feed the whole of them and put them under charity. And if then I can live at Jamaica down there run a charity and, and guess what? Happened? Get the support from people. Who don't live in Jamaica, but the people who live out of Jamaica and them live in America and can't get no support. Then your child, then your sister, something is wrong with them. They are not enough for them. In order to run charity, you have to have something for yourself. Because if me run charity, me I take money out of the charity. So that's why I'm in the charity. If me I run charity, me not supposed to sit down and live for the government system and live for $300. If me I run charity, me not supposed to sit down and say, boy, I am doing great. I am eating lobster and so lobster sitting with you all kind of what you sit me on all kind of um cholesterol and all kind of something. And then get up every day and then fall and then come and then watch people pay some of the business like comfortable with themselves. Hmm? When they're not trying to hide themselves and do everything for hide themselves because they're not comfortable with themselves, they're not. Let me tell you something. You cannot blame the public for not happy with it because the way you look or whatever God make you. The way it is, the way it is. And then get up every day and then chastise the woman and say, oh man, this is what. So then they find themselves at woman yard every time. Then call the woman and say, oh, I'm this and this and blah, 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 friend the woman and tell the woman, nah, nah, friend them and so forth. Then say, the woman and that shit and the woman and this and the woman and that. Me go up and down a yard there and there, and it, and it burned the whole of them. It burned them, so I go up there. Remember, you know? Me tell Dana, I say, I come up there, I call her, I surprise her, and I go up there. And you know why I went up there? I never went up there for cake. I never went up there to fast. I went up there because Miss Pruitt tell me to go up there because I want to see this person that everybody is talking about. I want to see what this person look like and I want to feel that person's spirit. I never go up there to go get fun there to go make money. I go up there because guess what happened? Some people I want to meet and some people I don't want to meet. Someone never come in here, I never meet them, I never meet them, I never meet them, I never meet them. Even if them they have a million dollars, I never want to meet them. So I went up there and when I went up there, I dressed when I went up there and I never dressed to go there. I was coming from on stage and I leave on stage and go up there. And you know the problem is, is because when time I go up at Dana, and Dana see me and she happy to see me. The joy was she, the, the joy and the love was she give me. Some of them go up there and never get that hit, then force themselves. You don't force into people. You don't force yourself into people, yeah, make them invite you. Make when you go have somebody, yeah, them so glad to see you and you and it's working to meet you. And I went up there and I'm a one clothes. Me never go up in a one train to that in a in a train to that. What the government did I give out? Me never borrow clothes to go, me never go up there pretend. I went up there being Dr. Love. And when I go up there, I went up there and then I welcome me. And I sit at our house and at the first time I eat our cake. 
I'm a sit down, I'm a laugh and talk with her. She hug me, I'm a hug her. I would talk and I leave there in peace and leave there with good spirit and go back to Pegasus where I was staying. But then find himself up on the woman page and they say, me find myself up on Dana. The problem is me, me and Uno never find and me never find myself to meet and never find myself to come out in the yard because someone don't have any yard to come. But me find myself at Jamaica and me find myself up at 100 Mountain View, up at 99. Me find myself up at 99. And I went to 99 and when me leave 99, me go up there with good spirit, me go up there with my belly and I hat me, and me left up there with my belly still not hat me and so forth, and I went back to my destination. And she was happy to see me. And I was happy to see her. As I said, some people I would love to meet and some people I don't want to meet. Some of them I don't work to meet and I don't want to meet you know. A bone on say me never try to meet you know. Actually to be honest, if me there run and see someone and me see you know, I will actually turn my back. I don't even want to meet you know, because you know, have bad element and bad energy. You know, don't work it. And I asked me the question, that club, would you go back up and then again? Yes, I would have go back up there. Why would you go back up there? Because I like the vibes and the camera don't have to be on. And when I went up by Dana house and I drive up there, I never seen no yang yang out of door. I never seen no gunman out of door. I never seen none of them talk about out of door. I went up there and we go in, I will park, I will go in, I will sit and talk and I was there for more than an hour. And when I was there, I mean, you know, yin, yin, I jive fast or whatever it is. No bad man never come there. I'm never sit down again, no bad man, no money. And when I went up there, the cake, the cake, the cake tastes good. And I heat it and I leave there. And guess what happened? She asked me to bring up two cake for somebody. And I bring up the two cake. And when I bring up the two cake, and I land at JFK Airport, the two cake that Dana gave me, and the two cake when me get to myself. I land at JFK Airport, and when I land at JFK Airport, and them say, if you go claim the bag, them, I go downstairs, go claim the bag, them. Me never seen a red stick up on the bag. Me never seen nothing up on the bag. I take up the bag, them, and the immigration, them, you know, cut and say, okay, them are sure we go, and I went right out. No dog never sift it right there. I don't know if them do it for the plane. The cake never cut up. No drugs never in a cake. I never have a problem with the cake. None of that. I'm going to come back up. I came back up. I didn't have my one shoes, my one pants, my one shirt, my one chair, my one watch. And I went to Jamaica and I never borrowed nobody money to go down there. I bought the ticket. The, I bought the ticket the Saturday, I think. I bought the ticket the Saturday. I want to know a last minute ticket expensive and jet blue. And I went to Jamaica. And I was supposed to stay at our natural court hotel. And when I booked natural court hotel, I get an email the next day saying that they have upgraded me to their sister hotel, the Pegasus. And I said, well, I never booked Pegasus. And when I call natural court, I'm from natural court, say, okay, no, everyone has to go to Pegasus. And I saw Pegasus before. The last time I got Pegasus, I was 12 years old. In a 12 hour. Um, when we were 12. And when I went to Pegasus Hotel, I got a nice room with a nice balcony. That me pay for. I look right across, airport, everything. Clean and nice. And I never have a problem. When I never hear me come on, I'm big cash up money. When I never hear me come on, I say, boy, I'm big enough cash up money. So if you pay for God, no, I never do that. Never done that. So some of you say, me, me don't know you know, I see him lead. Me and I don't have the same ambition. Someone who just start living life, you know. Someone who just start finding place to go catch. Someone who never know where to catch. I have a place to catch a long time. I'm not just find a place to go catch. You understand what I'm saying? Just literally find a place to catch. And because I'm not just find someone to catch. Because let me tell you something. If I never had done it, 
if it was not Dana, you know what I go on? And the influence of Dana, someone who knows find place to live in. If it was not Dana, go, someone who would never find a place to go live in. Because you never had no way to decorate. You never had no way to put up nothing. You never had no way to walk up and down. You only did in one place and one place stuck in one place. It's because you don't sit down and put up curtain in the house and fix up in place. You don't decide to one place to fix up too. So you don't go find a place to live. You don't live in above you don't need. So you don't find a place to live. Because if Dana, if Dana never did on the internet, and you never see where she have a bad mind for it, you don't never find a way for it. live same place in one, one spot. You don't move from the same spot to one in then I motivate her work on the phone to have something in her life. She motivate her to have something in her life. Then I motivate enough other people in America to become something and have ambition. Because we never had no ambition. We did not. We don't live in America for a donkey, kill Wapi and Joey, kill Wapi and whatever. There's a man passing or a man passing. We don't never have nowhere to stay. We don't itch in one spot until bad man catch you. Know. On the decide say no happen, we go go up there and push out there. On the go up there and find sitting and children find sitting and no. On the can put up a curtain and wash sheet and fix up a place. On the point I go I can ask man. No nobody. Because me know say that I can't that a place she can't be a feed. She can't afford that place. Me know no one can afford for no. Cause some of them in America are no worthless. And no one of them in America are worthless. Then I make on the come out of the worthless. Then I put it in a good lane. And after she put it in a good lane. When I turn on Kosar, when I say, my doctor, why you big up? Then I say, no, I big up, I talk the truth. Me, I talk the truth. Because if I would come and talk the truth, even me, myself, make some money from over the planker. Me, myself, sell body in a jar and one and two pocket book, you planker them by it too. Me, not a jar, no, no. Because anybody invested in my business, that give me blessings in my business. Me not, me not be like some of the people who make the money over there. On the door, I said, thanks, and I turn around and cost someone and said, I want this, I don't want that. And gratefulness, I kill you. And gratefulness. You have to come on and be a certain way for people so you know, for you to get a little bit of views. If you come on and be a certain way, remember, so you was not before, you know, and still not going to be nothing after, you know. People like me can actually motivate and help you. Know. So thank God for Dana go for make someone have a house so you can live in her. And thank God for Dana go say in, um, she help you know, to come out of the worthless place so you know, and you know, become something you, know, can, you, know, you know, can look into life and say, yes, at least with the America a long time and I can't see something going on for me. Because if, if Dana never come up on Facebook, you know, that's still not the poor condition, same way. Same way. But I'm grateful. I want to go for 99. I go for 99. I can go for 99 on a bad mind. Hmm? I want to chat with the woman, the woman that flourish every day. I want to be around the people in my life who's going somewhere. I don't want to be around people who ain't going nowhere. Hmm? I want to get up every day. I want to cuss the woman and say the woman this and the woman that. Someone will go to Jamaica and go down to go try what my business will never work up because I don't want to be like the woman. We don't go down, they go up more business and do all kind of sitting because we don't want to be like that. We don't want people go to try to money. We don't want people glorify on them. We don't so uncomfortable with their life and so uncomfortable with their self that we don't ever understand. And when people tell them the truth, we don't get mixed about it. Hmm? When they're not depending on life, anybody that sells a little something in chef, they say, go over this and go over that and buy something. And after I want to get the little money for all of the plank, I turn around and cause the plank of them. I want to the plank and they say, I don't have support, they, they don't have support, they don't have a problem. When I drunk, man. When it's drunk, bro. And it's the truth. Eh? Someone have to come on 50 times alive for the day. Quick, 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 in the day, on the day, on live, right through the day, because guess what happened? When they just unhappy with themselves. And then when I see her and turn around and say, oh, then I don't have a man. Then I this and then I that and then I that and that. Because the woman now come back and come tell her no business. When you just set a drunk around. Hmm? Then I sell cake, when I sell cake too. Eh? 
Dana, Dana, have animal, we don't have animal too. Then I put up one, one pink curtain and I don't put up one too. Me? Eh? Then I come alive, I don't come alive too. Then I do a year, I don't do a year too. Then I put on makeup, I don't put on makeup too. Then I go to the toilet, I don't go to the toilet too. Everything so, the woman do, I do follow. Jesus, God Almighty, man. Mama said, then I'm not in America where makeup and all I sit in them girls who are in America. And you don't have to make one little woman in Jamaica. Motivate on the phone, you can look a little bit better. Eh? Really? Seriously? I'm going to Jamaica, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to Jamaica, I'm going Dana. And she not have three belly. I went to Jamaica and I see how she don't have three belly. We understand that she thick. But she wear her thickness good. And she don't have three belly. And only the America where all kind of diet sitting there, all kind of things there. And look at the condition of the phone. It's a damn shame and disgrace. Damn shame and disgrace. Me only is not in the same league. I will never be in that league. Uno fit. Give thanks to the people who help on the people who motivate to know. Thank God for Facebook because if I never Facebook, someone with depression would have reached the highest level. Someone would have found suicide level. And when if somebody can turn a Jamaica and motivate to know for no can find somewhere to live. Someone who can call on the one that all on no said never knows how could have do it. Who hmm? no self would even know so no could have become something in America. I don't live in America for years and years I walk foot. And then I turn around. And now all of a sudden, I know it's this. If then I go to the Amlapsta, I'm the Amlapsta. If then I bust a champion, I'm bust champion too. If then I have people jive, I don't want people jive around too. If then I go to Elisha, I go to Elisha too. I want to try to live a lifestyle where I would never is and will never will because it takes money to live lavish. Money and respect and good friends to live lavish. And people don't want to tell you the truth. When I get up on the chat about me and this, I'm going to tell you something. I have my own business. I have my own business here. Yeah? Miss my own boss. Me pay me. And I'm not going to come out here so. And boast and brag and act like say whatever it is. I remember when I come from zero. I remember when I never used to have no fans. I know me have a lot of fans. Now Instagram and Facebook give me a little bit of salary. And ask me, I don't, I don't even take the salary. Me and then I say, I'm category. How much time I come up on life? Me come on now, now, you'll see me tomorrow, I get it. Me come on when me feel like. As you know, clip on live, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. When you know, if you have a little man, I dig up on a little sitting. When you know, live, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, chatting fat. This minute, you know, a Christian, the next minute, you know, a disciple, you know, live out there, shop like that. Eh? Every other man have a name. And then, you know, the time, you know, say people, the same people that. And when I'm ready to go over there, I'm going to sit and watch her, everything. Every time she comes and go there, I'm going to try to take a picture. Listen, taking a picture of a smart book and cannot manage it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because when you go over there, you try to take a picture of a book, but it's too big for you. If you, when you don't put it out you can't reach it. Because embarrassment is a thing. Me and no phone no, no friend, and me would never be friend. If you don't know Arlene and no Stacey Davis, if you don't know Shan or a friend them, or a Disha, you understand? Or a lot of these people who follow me. Me only no friend, I don't want to, me only never eat and drink. I mean, I would never eat and drink. As I said, and I said it already, I never used to watch Dana. I never used to go, I never used to watch her. When she just come out and saw but she was not my cup of tea. But as time goes by, me understand, me listen, me listen, me hear what I want to say. I'm ready to say, what I want to drink up? All I want to drink up. Put it all on in one barrel and don't make one. 
I want to want people to join on as a custom man. And true, me not join on as a custom man and so forth. Because me as a custom, I have a reason. Me not have a reason too. I'm not turning on the no one and say, me have this, me have follow around, I'm so enough, I go up there. I am a star. I am known. When I walk on the road, I am known. People know me. People want to meet me. People don't want me to know. I don't want to stay scared on an Irish planet. I don't want the star call on an Irish over there. I don't want TVJ call on an Irish there. I don't want to get the chance. Some of them come out and say they're coming say they're coming there and say that damn jackass and make a fool up and say I mean, there's nothing about them. When you when you say when you say you're coming then, you have to have the comedian body and the comedian mentality and funny. When not funny. Then I then I come out and go and play. I'm gonna cook in this. JPS come to him. All different kind of something. She dabbling on all different kind of sitting. And she never looked for it. Where wanna dabble in? We don't have a no We don't feed no self, but we go take up animals, so we don't feed animals. We don't care feed no self. I'm not telling you something about get put out in a fire. No, get to get put out in a fire. I know, I know we've put in a self and put animals in a be a good thing. Try not get put out. Try not get put out in a fire. I'll never get put out them have animal shop and they can't put animal in there. That's all I have to say. You understand? That's all I have to say. How would it? You understand what I say? I keep it 150 real. Right, I'm a brother. I lie. I lie, brother. You get WhatsApp. I want to go on yourself. Dr. Love. Is a star. I ain't rich, but I managed to make my own platform that do good for me. I managed to come out on this side, and while I was here making my name, I was still doing my stuff. Then when we ready, we go pick up scrap metal. When we ready, we put in some sheetrock. When we ready, we put in some tile and so forth. Through the whole pandemic. When you don't hear me come on, come, come cry and ball and all that and talk about cash up, cash up, cash up, cash up. Brother, I'm soon call back, brother, I'm soon call back. When last time you see me put up a cash up, I'm fine. Stacey, my good, good friend, Stacey. Stacey, don't want me to come up Friday last time we have one lot of food for my friend. Last time we have one lot of food in my club. Did we have any financial problems? Did we have any financial problems in my friend? Whole lot of food in my club. Did we have any financial problems in there? When, 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 when last time you see me come put up cash up on Facebook and Instagram? When last time you see me come put up cash up? Hmm? When last? When last time you see me come put up cash up? I'm not talking short. Hmm? When last? When I don't see me put up cash up on PayPal. I left it for all people who are dead for young girls and suffer with me a little bit of money. I make not do it because I don't believe in working. Everywhere the welfare system in America, I don't find no way. In the welfare system, I don't find no way to get some money out of the system. I don't know how every way to get money from the government. I never get. And I don't know give me $200 the other day. And then give me what? The $2,000? $200, $600. Then give me the other day. I don't get things from the government. And then they never say never, but you know, the dear me in America, I'm going for welfare. Me left this country, that will never happen. I want to live for welfare. Someone to live in America so long, I want to just drive. Someone to live in America so long, I want to just live in one good place. Someone to live in America so long, I don't never know someone could have do it. I don't never know someone could have do it. I want to proud of myself. So I am not Uno, and I will never be Uno. And as I said, I went to 99, and when I went up there and she see me, she was very happy to see me. And I was happy to see her, and I never feel nowhere. And she done her life, and she said she has done her life. You know, see, when Uno go up at dinner, Uno say that Uno go up there. She's, she's never there most of the time. When I went there, she were there. And she was doing her life. And because she feel the present, 
she done the life that I'm bringing alive for me and her and my guests. And we sit down beside, she sit down right beside me. And we talk. She put me right in front of her. We laugh and talk. And she go and she go get cake and give me. She never give me cake for ever times. She want to hear me and this opinion because she knows I'm real. I'm sit down and eat. I'm drink water. And I never go there and parlor tell me, say, Dana not did it. With Dana never did it ever too. When the phone go there. And I never find myself, in the day of Jamaica, I only find myself up at 99 every minute I drive at 99 for what reason? Because I want to be confused. If people don't invite you, I don't go there. When you go there, we go there one time and one so forth, that's good enough. And we go to Jamaica again and I feel like I want to go up there. We go up there. Next time, we we'll go and we we'll sit down, we we'll have a drink somewhere, and we eat something somewhere and sit down and drink some coffee. I don't find myself up at Dana Yard every minute like that. You don't listen. You don't overstay your time into places and keep popping up at people's yard. It is a disgrace when you pop up at people in my yard and she not did it. When you go there one time and you go back the man. That is a problem with you. Know. One time was good enough for me. Okay? Alright. So you know what good and talk good. And let me tell you something. It's in America, you cannot be cruel to dumb animals here. Yeah? I hope you don't have food and money to feed the dumb animals then. Because you cannot be, you will be charged and arrested for being cruel to dumb animals and starve dumb animals. Hmm? Big embarrassment then go up and then I wasn't there. More than one time. More than one time then go up and then I wasn't there. And I still find myself up and say, we're not too enough, man. We're not too damn enough. Then go out to Jamaica and say, no, I'm going to the other sitting on the car. They want to have a car advertising and help them out. That's what you're not. No, too enough. Too damn enough. Too enough. I'm bright. I don't talk to them. Right? See? I go for Dana when I go out there. I sit down and have some push out the door. She, then I never even have to push them. Me sit down over Dana like this. Right? I want me sit down at Dana. Me see one girl that passed with the baby. And when the girl that passed with the baby, me see one push a go, so I want push a go, so I push a go them business. And me say, I think me say, what you push them? The next day to write to me, you see them buy push. Eh? Go back down and go see push out and do a walk up and do a go about their business. And then they don't want a bad man to see panel and they push them. Go, one I go left, one I go right. The next day, then go somewhere, go take up. We don't know where they get pushed from. Eh? Then go find push. Eh? Find push. One of us don't know when people place. Did the people then tell us how they can bring animals coming out of their house? Eh? Did the people then tell us how they can bring animals coming out of their house? Eh? Then I have pushed and I get pushed to. I never see, I never see nothing like this yet. You still see? Eh? Then I get pushed. Not even one push, two push. Two push. Bad mind. Don't the post them, the history of post them with a bad mind woman for post. Eh? Two posts. Eh? Two posts. What do I have? Look at that there. I don't need to get two dog and two goat, two man. Eh? It's there, see? Two posts. If they never even talk about posts, they won't even get posts. They have posts. I'm coming across and I want to get a push. Then they evict out of them place. Go to eh? Exactly. I never, I, I never see nothing like this at Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll let me I tell. Me? Me, I go get, me, I go, me, I go buy a post. Because the new thing I post now. Me, me go bad man and go get a post. Eh? 
אני לא פיינה פוס. אני לא פיינה פוס. אני שואל פיינה פוס. בעד מנה פיו מן, מי זה דיו מנה דיו מנה פוס. יש, יהיה לנו עוגש קלט, אין להם איזה סמוך כזה פאיה. דנה פי דה דאג דה מנה פוס דה. דנגוף. Then go find pus, say feed pus. Then find pus. Then go find pus. If you go feed pus, then can't get people trying to say they go find pus again, child. What is it? When you leave a good idea, then I go add up to my pus there, yeah? And if I say, yo, this is when we know I say, Bad mind is active. When me, yo, when you see somebody can reach to the level, if you go out of two posts, you know say bad mind. That never say okay, that never say okay. That never go up, it never go away. No, then go out of posts. Hey, somebody tell Dan and tell Dan if I buy two goats, I mean I save them. But go to the foreign. Tell Dana, say, if it, tell Dana, say, she figure fine to a dog them and just add up to a dog. They're going to say they're going to find dog too. Hmm? 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 If they will come and come back, but if they can't push them, go and vet. When you push them, why are they hungry? Why do they get full for you to push them? Because sometimes they look like they don't have food themselves. No. Then I get, then I get care, then I get care. But there's anything no one do, then I get it, man. But I would just tell you, me, me, I go, me, I find a push. Me, I go find a push, because the latest thing I push. Me go get a meal. We at the seminar get a meal. I must get a meal. Me, I go get a meal. By tomorrow, I must find a meal, yeah. Anyway, why is I going to say, you know? I don't have for that, the topic there. Because I can't wait with the stress on us, yeah. Who now if you ask me, you know? I'm just living the life, you know. Right now, I'm going to drink some chocolate or some cocoa. Anybody want to come on on the live, you can send me an invite. But don't come on here and call anybody near. JPS, eh? All JPS. Eh? All J... You know, hey, you know, some feast enough of them all that call JPS and look up here. Fees, you know? Fees are JPS. Hello? Hello? Who this? Hello? Who that go? Who this? Boy, you tell me who you are. You there? I'm scared. Stop yapping and listen. Don't deny it, boy. Hey, that's glad. I will. That's glad. No, I can't make the rest of that What is it? Why are you calling my girlfriend in the night? Yo, I can't buy that. What are you saying with this? Calling black bag, Dr. Lulu, out here. Um, no, in this surprise, I only have um, eight, uh, nine, ten, and eleven. I can't buy that. The rest, clad. No, this. 
Oh man, I tried to do you know what I tried to do it yesterday and I mean know what happened. Me don't know how some jam come. See number you call me, tell the number you call me. I go the number you call me. Me don't know who. The number is 347 347-267-4077. 347-267-4077. Me don't even know if I number that. The person said, why are you calling my girlfriend in the middle of the night? Then the person called before and said, you're blocking me. Some shit house. Me I block the number too. I don't block the number. I don't even know who that germs is. I block the number yeah. Block. Me don't even know who. Anyway, guys, as I said, uh, let me show you the book, the, the, the pocket books before I go. Then I'm getting enough of this. 250. 250. 250. Oh, Facebook, they're dead for hungry, they're to the backside. They're over Facebook, they're dead for hungry. I never seen a player, they said to backside. I don't think so. 250. They're over Facebook, they're dead for hungry. Oh, God. That's the same. That's it. Hey, anybody? Okay. Before I come off our live now, what we miss before I come off our live? Anybody have anything to say before I get off the live? Anybody have anything to say before I get off the live? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, I don't have anything I don't want to ask before I get off because I'm getting off a year now. Because I'm going to go and search two posts tonight. So we can find two posts. Anybody? Let's see. Let me see. Hold on, let me see how it takes me. Um, the black bag. Which one is black bag? Let's see. Not to try to me which one it is. Wait. Somebody asked me about a bag. Black bag. Let me see if I that one here. If I this, somebody asked me about a black bag. Small bag. Let me see. Like this. Like right, this bag. We send the picture to the person. I don't know who it is, but we send the bag to you. Um. Yes, I shipped to Canada. I do ship to Canada. Canada is more money to ship to Canada for shipping. So to Canada, it is $55 to ship to Canada. I do ship to Canada. This bag here, every time I have them, them go. I sell a lot of these bags, lack of them. Okay? So I only have one more left in stock. So if you want it, right? This bag right now, this bag here, if you want this bag for a special just for tonight, you will get this bag only. For 160 just tonight only. This bag here is 250 for this bag. Included with shipping. 250 for this bag with shipping. People never ask for, 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 for discount with this bag. They go fast. They're nice bags, okay? So if you don't want it, you know, just let me know and so forth, right? If you want to buy two things, then you only pay for one shipment, okay? I'm getting off of this now. Okay, the pressure said, okay, this one. I only have one leave. Uh, then can't meet me, can't buy them people here, my friend. Anyway, people, I'm getting off of here. It was nice spending some time with you guys. And I hope we can do this again. And um, guys, if you want to get in touch with me, please do get in touch with me through my phone number, 973-342-2487. Remember to enter into the competition. All you have to do is ask me for the song and you get a chance to win this bag right here. Right? Right here, sir. 
right? They can get a chance to win this bag. All you have to watch something for the song, and then it ends November 15 and all. So you can go and buy the song, send me a video if you were singing the song, and send me a copy of your receipt that you purchased the song, right? And then this bag can be yours in the competition, right? Anyway, I'm getting off a year now, so we will do this again, okay? Let me see if I could save this live. I don't... Let me, let me, let me try to save the live and see if you get the end. Are you sure you want to end your live? Cancel. I hope we save that live there again. We try to save that live there. I don't know if we save it in a wait. When we go in, I save the seat. Let me see. We'll click end. Click 